but you once you get it onto a living breathing person then um, it just takes Lush. on what it's meant to be about really doesn't it you yeah it'll also go like that that won't it yeah that can, it can gorgeous. go a bit central as well it can go wherever you like <laughs> gorgeous the earrings, the bracelet, I, can't, I cannot get over this tiara, it's just beautiful. But I, I, again, I mean, I know that the, the, the coated quartz is magnificent, but I really can't get over how beautifully the rose uh, gold and the, and the gold gold has worked. I mean, again, I think I'm going to refashion something like that and go even more with these beads and make the whole thing from them, because I think that is... Um, just, I don't know, I, it, it that. appeals to me, mm. that look. Me, I love the it. little balls, I yeah. think that's absolutely gorgeous. Think it, I Gorgeous. Think. We got a text uh, from Anita, James Studio. Hi, Jenny, I toilet trained my son by putting a ping pong ball in the loo and asked him to wheel it. <laughs> It's brilliant this show, isn't it? You learn much more than jewellery making. That's good, because if you trick boys into thinking it's some kind of game... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because they're lazy when you do that, aren't they? Georgina in Oxfordshire, walking up a long hill after a night out early one winter's morning. My bestie and I, both desperate, made up a song. Stand by your pan. <laughs> I love girly crazy lives. I never forget them. Thanks for having us, jewellery makers, despite the madness. Michelle and Becky are up after this. Bye, love you. know having the right tools for the job is important, so we here at Jewelry Maker have designed a toolkit which includes all your essential pliers for jewelry making, including round nose and flat nose pliers, wire cutters, as well as a bead reamer, snips and tweezers. You've got everything you need for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. Join the incredibly talented guest designer Alison Tarry in her very first wire sculpture DVD. In this edition, you will learn all the skills needed to create fabulous scroll work designs, including a decorative bell, wire booties, and an ornamental box. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call center. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. If you're new to Jewelry Maker, simply contact our call center and we'll send you a tutorial DVD and get started booklet all free of charge. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call center on 0800 644 655. Do you have a question that you need answering? Well, did you know you can ask to speak to an accredited jewelry professional in our call center? Trained by the GIA, you can ask us any gemological question and we'll do our best to help. We don't just sell gemstones, we know gemstones. That's why when you buy from us, you're buying with confidence. Buy your genuine gemstones from genuine accredited jewellery professionals.
Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Designer Inspiration. Thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. And you're not going to be disappointed that you have tuned in. Trust me on this. I have got a stunning selection of such unusual gemstones today. Genuinely, I'm talking about um, what have I got? Let me remind myself. I've got Andesine coming up for you. I've got Charite coming up for you. I have got Opal coming up for you. Brand new strand of quartz as well. I've also got a massive selection of brand new caps. I've never even seen this gemstone. Coconut Jasper caps. Take a look at these. You've got the opportunity to own all of these cabs for under 30 pounds today oh look at them they're like chocolatey deliciousness aren't they i've also got this little beauty coming up for you it's going to be under a hundred pounds under a hundred pounds for this stunning faceted strand today i told you i've got treats and i've got a pearl showcase and i'm joined by the most wonderful lovely talented smiley stunning shoe lending <laughs> Michelle! Hello, lovely lady. <laughs> Good afternoon, Becky. How Hi. are you, gorgeous? Not too bad, darling, yourself? Good. I feel Good. like it's been yonks. It's been a fair few shows since we've yes, last seen one another. Yeah. What have you been up to filming in? Oh, well, we've had um, a little bit of excitement yesterday at my mum and dad's pub in Taunton. Oh, yeah. You so, had a bit of a workshop, we didn't did, you? We did, with the lovely Rachel Norris, which went very well. Take a little look at one of the pieces that they were showing how to create at the workshop yesterday. It's gorgeous. How did it go? Good fun? Very well. They all enjoyed it, yes. It was great fun. Did they? I absolutely yeah. love that. Um, and I'm getting ready for my son to start his first day at school tomorrow. He's starting tomorrow, and it's your yeah. baby baby. My baby baby and my little niece as well. Flying the nest. Paige and Lewis. Paige and Lewis, good luck for tomorrow. I know. Oh my gosh, how exciting. Look at your face. <laughs> Do you feel a bit heartbroken? I do. I'm good. There's going to be tears tomorrow morning. I can see it coming Are you already. Club? Yes. Really go for yeah. it. That's fine, though. <laughs> oh, they'll have a fab time. They'll come back with loads of stories and they excitement. Will, definitely. It'll be fab. Um, well, we're talking about family, so let's continue this tale, shall we? We here at Jewelry Maker and at the Genuine Gemstone Company pride ourselves on being a family. It's a family-run business. All of, all of us here as a team and as a group are like family. We truly are. <laughs> it, that ties in really well because of uh, my brother. Hey, bro. How are you doing this morning, gorgeous? <laughs> Look at him. Look at his little face. Look. That's my brother, that's my brother Pete, if you've no idea what I'm talking about. Someone messaged in yesterday and said, are you and Pete related? Because you look like brother and sister. Which shocked me already, but it shocked me even more when I walked into the gallery afterwards and said to producer Liam, oh, I got a message in today saying me and Pete look alike. And he was like, oh yeah, I've heard that loads. Hell! <laughs> I can see the resemblance. Can you? Yeah, there's definitely one there. Gosh, maybe look at his little face. <laughs> maybe. Oh, look, hang on. Look. Face smile. <laughs> <laughs> Uncanny. Uh, you've got me and my brother all day today. Uh, but it is a family environment here at Trudy is, and you are part of that family. You viewers are there at home. So, as a family, we always want to help each other out, don't we? So I've got a text theme for you today. The text theme is time-saving tips. No matter what it might be, anything jewellery making related that you think is a time-saving tip that you want to pass on to other jewellery makers. Because let's face it, especially at this time of the year when people are getting ready for the craft stores, when people are making for Christmas presents for friends and family, 
Sometimes when you've got a lot to do, a lot on your plate, you need just tiny little helpful tips to make you save time. So text us in today. 60777 is the text number. Start your text with the word JM Studio. We are a family and we do like to share. Let's all help each other out today. It's Sunday, day of giving, isn't it? So give us some little tips. Let's start off with you, shall we? Lovely Michelle. Time saving tips. Time saving tips. Um, sometimes it's better to go for the more simple ideas over the more elaborate ideas would be my tip so keep it simple yeah probably keep it with one piece of wire if you're wire working yeah and it'll still have just the same effect I like that and actually that ties in perfectly with some of the pieces you've mm. created today Certainly. talk to us about the first DI um, we have tried to um, keep it in the theme of wire writing today so there's lots of wire involved and I shall show you how I taught myself to wire yeah. write and it's a quite an interesting way of doing it as well isn't it actually it is. yes it is it is and the second designer inspiration um, I got a bridal vibe from it Hey, I can see that. I got a bridal vibe. Bit of a bridal yeah. vibe for you today. Mm. If you've never tried out wire writing, do not worry, because now is your opportunity. Honestly, Michelle makes it so easy. And look. <laughs> Beautiful necklace. How gorgeous is this? We're going to be showing you how to create some wire writing today. So don't worry, even if you've never tried it before, it doesn't matter. It really, really doesn't. Let's get started, shall we? Honestly, I've got price discounts galore, brand new products for you today, and just some stunning strands, starting off with this one. Now, I went into the Sunday Experience crowd earlier on. I showed them a picture of this. Now, if you're watching on the internet, um, you can see a picture of some of the products, can't you? So you can see a picture of this product now. I showed that picture to them and said, right, this is the price, it's Opal, what do you think? They were like, mm, yeah, trying to be really polite. Oh, yeah, it looks, it looks like something, yeah, but it's okay. And then I told them the price and they were like, oh, I'm not so sure. Then I showed them it in the flesh and I got them to give me three words. The three words they came at me with, bearing in mind you're seeing much more of what you will be likely to see in the picture, which is very small amount of opalescence, but in the flesh it's so much more. I've written down the three words, what have they said? Someone said, well, sparkly, iridescent and glowy. We had off one lady, bright neon naughtiness. I liked that one, neon naughtiness. Wonderment lightning flashes and Sheila said sunshine sand and glitter She actually said that if she was to get this she said she wanted to get this very rare She would get nuggets like this, but she really wanted to because the quality is so fantastic So she'd do hair combs Little cluster together little section of buds as a bridal piece would be fantastic Just trust me on this one Michelle. I showed you the picture as well didn't I before I showed it you just tell me, because look at the, you, you've seen this properly, uh -huh. not under these crazy lights, not with this crazy layering up of the camera, just dulling down the colour. Tell people at home, try and explain to people at home the difference the fire, from what they're seeing the to in life. The absolute fire in that opal, it caught my eye from a distance and I was stood in the sort of the customer shop and you were in the sort of entrance where the pictures are taken mm. uh, and the fire in that was just phenomenal. Uh, I've never seen Opal with that glow before. It is absolutely stunning out of this world. It is fantastic, yeah. isn't it? It truly is spectacular. I wish you could see it, I really do. It is the lights in here. You're getting a bit more of a feel of it on that slide there, but even with this spinning around, it's not even close really, is it? No. It's really, really not. It is spectacular. This is a double strand as well. 45 carats worth we have in here. And um, these are your small nuggets. Now, although they're small nuggets, really quite a sizable drip hole on these for the size of them. It's astonishing. Um, you have got a double strander here. You've got 84 centimeter strand, double strander that you have. Your price today for these little beauties of neon naughtiness is just £11.95 for you today. What do you think of that price, genuinely? It's just a phenomenal price. I would have put it at least, at least sort of £15. Yeah. It has got some really, really, really good fire. Really good fire. 
genuinely. Yeah. It's got the pinhead effect that we're looking for in the highest end of Opal. Actually, Louise Jackson, who was here yesterday, she bought an Opal ring that I was so jealous of. Um, but it has got exactly the same, her really, really high quality ring that she got. This has got that same amount of pin fire that you would expect from the highest grade Opal. Genuinely, it's absolutely astonishing. It's so tricky for me to put this across to you because honestly, it's dulled out light. There's lines in the camera. Every single piece of glass in the camera will dull out color in this way. But it's a 30 day money back guarantee. That's what it's there for. Get this home. If you don't fall head over heels in love with it, I don't know why, but if you don't, you can just send it back to us. 30 day money back guarantee, no questions, no quibbles, no nothing. But you don't want to miss out. Just trust me on this, okay? £11.95, that's your price, double strander. Good treat for you today. NESF69 is your code. Now, loads of you coming in for that. I've got so many goodies coming up for you today, and I've got quite a few bundles as well. Um, you've picked your challenge too, haven't you? Yeah. You excited? Yeah, I Your want challenge it. is gorgeous. I want it. <laughs> you want it. <laughs> oh. This selection here will go phenomenally well with my brand new coconut jasper cabs. I mean astonishingly. Look at that. It looks like they were meant to be made together, doesn't it? Mm. That is so beautiful. It's real vintage feel, isn't it? Shell sensation. You have got your beige shell pearl rounds. Now these are the six mil. Let me just show you these separately because to me, they've got a really gentle silver tone to them. They're really just a very delicate high end silver look, mm. aren't they? Do you think so? Yeah. They're described as beige. Possibly oh, champagne beige. gold. Maybe, maybe a champagne gold. Yeah, six mil these are. Now, they have got a pearl-like look to them. Don't forget, I've got that pearl showcase. When's my pearl showcase coming up, love? 2.30ish, it'll be here for you. So not long to wait at all for that pearl showcase. Something for every pocket in there as well. Um, now, the lovely thing with shell pearl is it has got that pearl-like look, but it is super duper strong. You don't have to worry about wearing your perfume near these or you know wearing them even to the gym if you're that way inclined because uh, they're, they're much sturdier than the natural pearl themselves. So you've got your six mil beautiful uh, silver colored pearls and then we're heading into the chocolates. Chocolate caramel, what is that? What am I thinking of chocolate and caramel? It's got a biscuit, biscuit base, buttery biscuit base I might say. Caramel, then it's got chocolate on top. Millionaire shortbread. Mm. What's wrong with millionaire shortbread? I don't like millionaire shortbread. Don't you? No. <laughs> what? No, I don't like How come? Shortbread. Just, I don't know, it's probably just a texture. I'm not mm. a fan of like lots of different textures. So for me, shortbread with like almost like a fudgy consistency in the yeah. middle is just really not my thing. A chocolate oh, fudge brownie. Which is hilarious because my mouth's watering at your description <laughs> of that deliciousness. Ooh. Go on. A chocolate, chocolate fudge, fudge brownie, brownie for me, mm, definitely. And that's what that reminds me of. Does it? Chocolate mm. fudge brownie. Whatever delectable, probably very bad for you, chocolatey oh. treat you're <laughs> yeah. thinking of now, uh, I can definitely see it. These are your shell queen six mil again. I absolutely adore. If I show you the hearts with it, because I've got the hearts here too. I just look at those two. Look at the iridescence. Look at that shell iridescence, that blast. Isn't it just magnificent? Abalone course is absolutely one of your favourites at the moment. And it has got, especially, can you see that heart? If I put it into the middle. See that heart in the middle? That, that's actually got some of the ab abalone colours, hasn't it? Mm. Pinks and greens running through there. If you've got abalone, um, maybe pair it with this, I would suggest. My director, Ben, says, I think you should pair it with this, with the uh, abalone, because otherwise the abalone will be abalonely. <laughs> really? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That is dreadful. <sighs> <laughs> um, you have got as well your really just eye catching um, strand of the beautiful rectangles as well. I've taken one of these off for you as well just so you can really get a good feel of it. Now these are quite an unusual shape actually, what would you do with these? Um, I would have in the midst of designing a prototype hinged star bracelet and I would probably run them down the center yeah. of a hinged star bracelet, they would look lovely with wire either side. I'd probably use the gold over the silver wire. They would also look lovely in the design I've done using memory wire. Ooh, memory wire. Mm. I think that would be really nice because it would actually move quite nicely around it, wouldn't yeah. it? Spin quite nicely around. You've got all four of these strands. The rectangles, by the way, are 12 by 8 mil. When you've got these chocolate and cream colour tones, you've got a feel of timelessness. You've got a feel of vintage elegance, I always believe. Mm. And that's definitely what you're getting with the shell in particular because of that sheen that's just bursting across the surface. Four strands of your stunning shell here. Your price today should be £17.80. You've got four strands and you can see how high quality these are with that sheen as well, can't you? We are actually going to give you a discount on this though because it's a wonderful bundle for just £12.95. If you need to stock up, this is your opportunity. You've got different shapes in here with the rectangles, the pure rounds, the hearts and the coins. Every single one a different colour. You've got different textures in here which sounds a bit unusual because obviously they are all smooth. But by texture I mean internal texture. So with the silver shell rounds you've got a beautiful pearlescence almost a luster I suppose over the surface of these. But then with the rectangles you can actually look almost into them and then see that sheen and shiller, can't you? And then the same with the chocolates, the coins and the hearts as well. It's got a real richness to it. It's giving you something completely different. Beautiful gold spanning across there, it really does. All of these today, just £12.95 for you. Do not forget, give us a text in today for your time-saving tips that you might have. We're going to share all of our knowledge today. Uh, JM Studio is the text number, uh, the text word. <laughs> start text with 6777. No, other way around. <laughs> I said start your text with <laughs> 6777. Don't. That's the text. You know exactly what I mean. Just read that slide. Just read that. It's probably for the best. <laughs> um, yeah, we've had some text in. Let's squeeze one in now, shall we, while people are going crazy multi buying over there. This is Lou. Take your Christmas cards or birthday cards in a bag in the car, okay? When you're running your kids to the clubs and waiting for them, you get them written. That is so clever. Take them with you, especially if you've got a big extended family or friends you meet on holiday. I love that idea. Do you know what? I have a car one as well. My car one is when I'm, because obviously I have another job and when I'm speaking to the office, sometimes I like come on my breaks here, when I'm speaking to the office, I'll have my phone on speakerphone and I'll be painting my nails in the car and then I turn the jets on and I sit with one hand on the windowsill, dryer here and one hand on the gear stick like this. <laughs> Time saving. Does it in moments. <laughs> I've had another text in. Let's squeeze on in because this is still really popular. Um, 12 95 don't forget for all four of these strands. Hi all! Don't know if my little tip will help anyone. Due to me having problems uh, gripping with my right hand when wire wrapping, I hold my wire in a ring setting clamp. Oh, that's really good! Yes. Hope this could be a helpful tip to someone. Can't wait to see Michelle's design. She's fab. That's a really good idea. Very clever idea. Because sometimes, especially if you do have dexterity problems, it can be really fiddly. Can be, yeah. Definitely. But just putting it in a clamp. I love that. Thank you so much. Keep those coming in. Got to move on now. Not many of these left. Twelve ninety-five for you today. Okay. Challenge. Oh. Now, we were in a lovely mood today, and we actually let you pick. We gave her a selection of a few strands, and you got to pick two. So this is the first one of those strands, and it is your wonderfully high-quality Labradorite. Labradorite is, for me, just magnificent because it's almost mystical, isn't it? 
It's got this beautiful, mystical, otherworldly effect to it, I think. Mm. You've got 80 carats worth here, and honestly, the Labrador Essence is sparkling in this strand. It truly is golds, blues, teals, and purples running through, which is really unusual. These are your graduated drops. Now, why did you pick these ones, Michelle? I love Labrador as a drummer of all anyway. So, and for me, they're very dreamy, and you can't yeah. stop looking at them. So for me, they're probably one of my most favourite stones to work with. Okay. So the fact that they're there, they were coming with me. They anyway. were coming with you anyway. <laughs> Fleur, the lovely Fleur, um, who we had on the other day, with the, who did the headpiece, she does a lot of reenactment pieces. So for people who go to reenactments and reenacting battles and, and that sort of thing, she says she's met a lot of 18th century monks and fairies in her life uh, from these reenactments. She says that these people absolutely adore Labradorite. When she's making commission pieces, which is where she sells a lot of her pieces, she commission pieces, she says that she'll give them the option of, of gemstones to choose from, and she said that Labradorite is picked pretty much all of the time, possibly because it is so mystical and it is so magical to look at. 80 carats worth we have here. Your price today should be. Very rare that we're going to do a price slash on a challenge strand. Very rare. If it's a bundle, yes. If it's a challenge strand, generally we won't because we know loads of people are going to come in and buy it. But we're going to today, just as a little treat, it's Sunday, £9.95 pence for you. What? You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Stunning. What do you think of that price? It's a phenomenal price. And I'd be jumping on the phone and I'd be having two if it were me. In fact, if my husband is watching, yeah. Matt, yeah, that. I want two of those, please, love. This one, please, love. Yeah, two of those. Make sure you jot it down. Jot that down. Are you getting a pen and paper? GCRU ninety six seven. That's your code. Two of them times two, nine thousand ninety five pence. Ideas for this strand, love. Oh, I've got something in very special in mind for that one, and I don't want to give too much away yet. Okay. All right. All right. Have you had one of these yet? No. I'll hand it over to you now then to get started on. I'll be doing your other strand later, which I'm very excited about. Okay. I need to start this though. Brand spanking new. Yee! I love getting new stuff. It just feels like Christmas, doesn't it? I have got a brand spanking new strand for you here. And honestly, I can't think of anything I've seen like it in my life. If you're looking for colour pop, if you're looking for versatility, you need to get your hands on this brand new strand today. Take a look at this. I don't even have to hold this. I don't even have to twiddle it or anything. This is doing the job for me. Look at how spectacular this strand is. Huge, chunky center sections there, massive. All the way to two and a half centimeters on some of these, 18 to 25 mil. And then going right towards the end, really delicate, 10 by 8 mil on this. Let me just show you in tight kind of scale from the largest one to the smallest ones. This is the one right in the centre and the ones right at the end. That is a big difference, isn't it? Look at that. That is a huge difference in size, which is wonderful. Because that means I could make a pendant with this one. I could make a cuff style piece with, with one of these and then a matching pair of earrings with the two smallest. Easy peasy, done and dusted and I'm still going to have loads left over. Do what I love about this, it's got that saffron colouring. Now saffron to me, I don't, well I do know why, but saffron colour, this colour to me, says expensive. And I think the reason is because I know and I think I've, I've always known, always been brought up in the knowledge that saffron, the product itself, actual saffron, is so expensive and so luxurious that it's more expensive than gold. And that, that's true, isn't it? For, for the weight, saffron is much more expensive than gold. And I think it always has been. Um, and I absolutely 
adore that point because when I look at this, I think rich, expensive. These are the, no, the just kind of words that come into my mind when I look at this. Absolutely huge. I'd love this as a ring as well. Does this one here? Really simple. These are described as your graduated cut nuggets, but I think it's safe to say that these are much larger than, than your standard nugget, aren't they? If you're going for this kind of boho chic, natural, authentic feel to your pieces, then this is going to be the strand you want to get your hands on, it truly is. These are massive. Look at this one. Around a uh, 18 mil by two and a half centimeters, this piece. That is a large piece, isn't it? That is huge. Now, how much would you pay for this on the high street? Just for one? Because this actually is larger than a cab, isn't it? It's much larger than you might get for a, a, a you sort of average cab. Because your average cab's usually around sort of the 20 mil, isn't it, generally? So it's, let's say it's around the same size as a cab. Now, if you were going to get a quartz cab, you're going to be looking at what price? Minimum 14, all the way up. Could be 20, could be 25, just for one. Easily. Oh, easily. Because, well, I found anyway, in my experience, when I go to the high street and go to those big, well-known stores that we all know, um, and I've seen agate cabs for around the 14 to 17 pounds mark, and whenever you see quartz, quartz seems to be higher in price generally. I'm, I'm not totally sure why. Maybe it's because more people know the name quartz, and quartz is something that's kind of in the public consciousness. But whenever I see quartz, it's always a higher price in those big chain stores. So for this size, let's play it safe, shall we? In fact, lovely Helena, let's do live price comparison, please. Now, you're going to have to get your calculator out, love, because I've got to do a bit of maths here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So can you divide 550 carats by 25? Five, please. This will obviously only gives a really average carrot weight. 22. So let's say, obviously that's a real average because some are smaller and some are larger, but on average, everyone let's say is 22 carats. So if this is 22 carats, will you have a look for a quartz 22 carat cap or just type in quartz 22 carat and find something that's not been made up yet. Cab would probably be better. Because I just want to have an idea. I just want to have an idea of what we're kind of having a little look at out there because obviously it's important to know isn't it it's good for you to have a, a, an idea of this we've got some we're just typing it into our search engine so we're going to get loads of random ones coming up some are 20 pounds yeah that's what i was kind of guessing we've got some 20 we've got some we've got some lower than that we've got some around the 16 pounds mark as well for 22 carats now that's just for one that we're looking at. I've got, as I said, on my strand, I've got 25. You might have slightly more, slightly less, depends on the sizes. For this entire strand, I would be falling head over heels in love if I could find this strand with this amount of carrots, with this amount of gradient, anywhere I would be head over heels if I could find this for the price of one of those cabs. I would be chuffed if I could find a strand like this for £20, even £16, I would be really chuffed. I would be blown away though if I could find it for less than £10 today. Oh my gosh, Michelle, your face. Your face is just lit up. That's very good Your price? So much potential there. Seven pounds and 95 pence. Really? Your face just, just sort of said it all then. Yeah, because I miss out. <laughs> by the time I get home, they'll all be gone. Probably, yeah. Even though this is a brand new strand, the amount of multi buyers we got, you've already gone off my screen. That's working out approximately 32 pence per nugget. Bargain. 32p. Even, okay, even if we just got the tiny, tiny ones at the end and I did a pair of drops. Oh, did you see those findings that they had on those this morning, the earring findings? Even if I just did a pair. 
That would be, how much should we say each? 32, did you say? So that'd be 64p's worth for a pair of earrings. Blimey, and you'd sell a pair of earrings for a minimum of £10. Minimum. That'd be amazing. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a wonderful, wonderful treat? I just think it's fab. Um, Seven ninety-five for you, triple buyers. There's so many of you coming off now. Brand spanking new. This is your premier price point. Get it whilst you can, truly. There's loads of you with it in your baskets. Your names have gone off my screen as well. Um, congratulations, everyone, who's getting your hands on this today. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence. So many of you coming in for this. Tell me what, let's get some texts in whilst, we, uh, whilst we're letting all the call lines chill out. Hi ladies, hello, lovely Anne. How are you, CP? In lovely Yorkshire, I love Yorkshire. Never been. I love the Yorkshire accent. Um, when wire wrapping, oh, so this is, our, this is our quick tip. So we're giving each other, we're sharing as a family here today, quick tips, any time saving tips. When wire wrapping, use a guitar plectrum Okay, uh, the sort that sits on the tip of your finger. Yes, yeah, so your plectrum, the kind of um, triangular shape, isn't it? Oh, you can get a metal one that goes on the end of your finger, get ya, um, to push the wire into position, no more gloves. Oh, genius. So, you know those, uh, they're the ones that go on your end of your finger, aren't they? And then the metal ones, and they have almost like a little, they're for acoustic guitars. Use the end of that to push your wire up, because that's how I wreck my nails most of the time, man by scooching mm. up your wire. You get a little ridge in the middle of your nail, yeah. don't you? You do. You can I always see a wire worker for yeah. the ridgy nails. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a really good tip, thank you very much. My one is probably clear quartz, crackled quartz. When you're working with crackled quartz, the amount of time, because I love crackled quartz, I love the effect it gets, but sometimes finding that drill hole is like being on the crystal maze. It is so tricky to find because it's got all this gorgeous internal effect. When you're looking, you cannot see the drill hole. You feel like you're searching the glow up. So what I always do is just cut the strand and never take them off the strand. Literally just feed my wire through and push it on one at a time for as many as I want because it saves so much time. It really, really does. There's so many of you who have got this. Congratulations, everyone. Do keep texting us in. It's all about you today. Don't forget, if you've got any questions for lovely Michelle, do message us in, such as Michelle. If you were a <laughs> mythical creature, what would you be and why? I don't suppose he's mythical as such, but oh. I would probably be an owl because they are very wise. So it's not really mythical. No, it's not, so that didn't answer my question, Michelle. You know I'm a hard taskmaster. <laughs> I do like the owl, though. That Phoenix. would be a hoot. Oh, gosh. Phoenix, then, probably. Good, I love that. Always. Phoenix you know, returning from the ashes. Did you see Alison's I Phoenix? I certainly did. Lush. It was lush. Properly lush. Um, so do message us in today, whether it's through our helpful tips or whether it's just a question for Michelle. 60 triple seven, start your text with the word JM Studio. Speaking of Michelle, I have still got plenty of these left. Your names have gone off my screen so many times, I can't even see you. Hundreds of these have already gone. Um, congratulations for getting this. I have got more. Um, how many did I start with, love? Okay, so I have got, oh my gosh. I started off with nearly 200 and I've got, how many left did you say? About 70 left. Okay, get on the phone quick for those, check out those baskets, because actually I've got about 20 in baskets it looks like. Now, speaking of Michelle, let's go and mosey on to her in a moment, shall we? And um, we have got to do the lovely kit first. How was this kit to work with? Lovely. Was it? It was lovely. Did you enjoy it? I did, yes. I'm going to Very show much. you, it's quite unusual that I would start with the gems, but I just want to show you these two cabs because you're getting two in this kit and they are one of the most unique gemstones in the world. It is your gorgeous Charite. Now look, I've got this one coming up for you later on. So, if you're planning on getting your hands on this kit, stay tuned because I've got a large one coming up for you in a little bit. 
So you have got two of these cabs here. You've got the beautiful pear shape and you've got the oval as well. The wonderful thing about this gemstone that I always think is really interesting is it almost has a chatoyancy aspect to it. It almost has a shiller and sheen under the surface on some of these. Five carats in each and they're both 16 by 12 mil. I've then got that match perfectly a multicolored strand here of your beautiful amethyst. I love this shape. Bicones, unfaceted natural bicones. Eight by six mil. Of course, the birthstone of February. It's also said to represent creativity as well. Um, it is a beautiful stone. A lot of richness in this. I, I, when we're talking, you know, I was talking about saffron and how that's expensive color. I always think purple is as well because when I think purple, I think royal, regal, and also it used to be the most expensive color as well to paint with. Um, well, it used to be this and blue used to be some of the most expensive colours uh, for you to paint with, which is why in all those great epic pieces you think of when you think of really ancient art, when you think of things like Michelangelo, when you think of all the blues and the purples rushing through there, that was kind of a way of showing off a little bit about the people who commissioned the pieces because it was saying, yep, we can create these colours, we're not skimping on this, this is an epic piece of art to be adored and loved. We are wealthy, exactly that, we are wealthy. Um, you have got these beautiful bicones here and 75 carats worth 8 by 6 mil. You've then got this really feminine strand of your pyrite. That is nice, isn't it? I've not seen this kind of pink in pyrite for a long, long time. 60 carats worth here. And these are your faceted rondelles, two by one to four by three mil here. They are sub-metallic. They are very shiny, my director says. They are, you're right, ma'am. Very. They have got just this dusky, dusky pink color, aren't they? Really wonderful. 60 carats worth, really lengthy strands as well, about 36 centimetres on this. And then, strands wise, lastly but by no means leastly, this is your quartzite cubes. Cubes are something we don't have on often. How do you feel with working with cubes? It was a dis it's something I've not used very often before, so it was, uh, it was great to experiment with them. Mm. Cubes are really, oh, stop it. I was going somewhere then. My, my producer just went to me then. I was going somewhere then and you've just put me off. My producer just said to me, I'm going, cubes are very, and she goes, square. <laughs> they're not actually, they're cuboid. No, I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> no, I was gonna say, they, they're very interesting in the way that you can interlink them and the, the way that you can almost create like a tiled effect with them. It's unusual that we have them on, but I do adore it when we do because I think they just catch the light so beautifully. They really are, they're cool, chilled, calm, aren't they, in this shape. Wonderful strands there. Each one of these cubes you're looking at is around four mil. You've got about 50 carats worth on the strands. Now, I've got for you as well some of these shell flowers, which we had in, and then they went out like that. Let me show you them. Five of these you get in, but I'll just show you two so I can show you the front and the back. So this one here is the front and this one here is the back. But of course, you can use them either way, obviously. You've got a concave section within this one, if you can see that. You've got a concave in the middle, but then the back is completely flat. It does actually look a bit like a snowflake, this one, doesn't it, the back of it? Five of these you get in and they have the drill hole through the center which means you can add your own, ooh, what's it called? Middle, you could, what's the middle? Oh, the, the stamen. Called? Stamen. Yes. Uh, you can add your own stamens to these, which is what the lovely Michelle has done actually, isn't it? Yes. This is on, we've used these on a choker piece. Do you want a sneaky peek? Have a sneaky peek at one of the pieces. Go on, sneaky peek. Ooh. That's stunning, isn't it? 
Uh, that's uh, one of the pieces that we've used these in today. So five of these you're getting in total. Lastly, but by no means leastly. 10 metres of your 0.6, 10 metres of your 0.4, and 10 metres of your 1 mil, all in the gold colouring. So 4 mil, 6 mil, 1 mil. You've got your structural, you've got your weaving, and you've got your findings, your rings, and your weaving too, actually, for a 6 mil, if you mm. work with the right ones, can't yeah. you? Loads going on here. I know it feels like I've been talking about this for ages, and that's because there's so much in this. Let's reiterate, shall we, in case everyone's forgotten. So, you have got two of your cabs. You've got a strand of the cubes in the quartz. You've got a strand of your beautiful amethyst in the plain bicones. You've got your beautiful, delicate, dusky pink in the pyrite. You've then got five of these beautiful uh, shell flowers. And lastly, but by no means leastly, all of that wire. 0 0.6, 0 0.4 and 1 mil. And don't forget, you're getting five of these flowers. Your price should be. 45 pounds and 55 pence which makes sense because you've got absolutely loads in here products wise individual products wise about five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen products is that right 29 pounds and 95 pence 15 pounds off more than more than £15.60 pence off. Bargain. Bargain. What did you think of that price? I'd have probably gone in... I would have bought two of these kits. <laughs> so I do love it. Do you? I do. And you really did enjoy working with this, didn't you? I did. Uh... I can tell that you have as well, because you've gone wild with it. Yeah, well, I tried to keep it delicate. Oh, no, I mean wild as in you've made a lot. Oh, yes. Yes, but then I always try to make a lot. I always try to make something that's different. Did you have any left? I have. I have got okay. some of the... Well, I've got some of the cube. I've got pretty much all, some of all of it left. Really? So I've got some of the rondelles left of the pyrite, which are a real fascinating colour. They really they are, are a pretty colour. Yeah. Um, and then I've got some of... The, well, I've got some of all of it left, really. Really? That is spectacular, isn't it? <clears throat> now, Helena made a little bet with me yesterday. Were you here for that? She made a little bet with me. She came out on screen. We made a little deal about whether or not we would sell out of a, a selection of pearls. And I said, nine minutes, we'll sell them out. Sold out in about four, didn't we? Um, I have made a little bet with Helena again today. And we basically said earlier on that if we go, if we do a f over 15 pound saving, I said, uh, if we're able to sell the vast majority of them with an over £15 saving, will you be doing me, again, like she said, she's probably she'll do the pearls, will you promise to do me an amazing showcase on the 16th? Now, I'm not going to tell you what the showcase is, but just trust me on this, it's one of the best ideas I think we've ever had. I think it's just wonderful the showcase itself is just let's just say there's something for everyone definitely and i'll give you a sneak peek on my facebook later on um uh, but i promised her we said yeah and we shook on it and we had a deal on it if we take them both under 15 i'd, I'd share this idea with her so she's just taking it to 15 pound 60 off which i think is a bit of an escape route <laughs> Can you do it slightly more? Because I never said over fifteen pounds, but I didn't mean sixty sixty p. Go on, what can you do? She says she can't now. Go on, an extra pound. That'll do. That'll do. I don't mind. She, oh wait, she's got a ring upstairs. She's got a ring upstairs. To find out. Are you trying to get her sacked? What? No, but it's nice to ask, isn't it? It's a Sunday. Oh, <gasps> my lucky number. Can we? Yes! Right, we're taking it down. Helena, you are a love. We're taking it down. <laughs> Your price is £27.95. Now that's even better, isn't it? Don't forget, all of you people who've already bought it, you, you're already paying this one price. So that now is £17. 
and 60 pence saving. This is what I do. This is nice, isn't it? We like this on a Sunday. We're always a bit mischievous on a Sunday. Always. Um, £27.95. Whoa, hello everybody coming in on that. Very, very, very rare do we get even £15 off. That's why I said to her when we made this deal, you know, I said to her, Come, I've got an idea for a showcase, I'll tell you what it is and we'll do it on the 16th if we can knock all of this off. And £15 off, I said that because we very rarely do £15 off on Designer Inspiration. £17 off, however, we very, very rarely do, which is astonishing for this kit, especially when you take a look at what this wonderful lady has created. Just tell me your inspiration behind all of these pieces. Ooh, just all sorts really. The colours themselves just yeah. go lovely together. Mm. Um, and it was more about focusing on probably them as the each individual items because I like to show pieces off yeah. in their mm -hmm. best lights. I know what you mean. Mm. And you most certainly have. I love this. How beautiful. I love the sentiment of this, but I also adore the, the look of it. Um, love life, it says. Isn't that pretty? Absolutely. Really wearable, that piece as well, actually. Yes. I love all the chain you've got draping around the back. I'll show you that. Lovely, isn't it? Really rich, luxurious look. Now, oh, the best friend necklace is a real wonderful. Yay. I would love to give that as a gift to someone or to have it given to me. Best friend, what a beautiful ornament. If you've got a best friend, can you imagine their face light up if you created this for them? It would be spectacular, wouldn't it? Now, we're doing something a bit different today, which I'm really excited about, and I love that we're doing this. We're gonna be talking about how you learnt. Yes. To, hang on, I'm so sorry, my love. Management have just called and said what? No way. Management have just called, okay, wait, before you do that, management have just called and said, I didn't realise you had this on. I really, I know what Becky's idea is. I really want to do it. Let's go crazy. Oh my word. 25 pounds. Wait, what was the original price? I've forgotten. 29 pounds. 45, 55. So that's a 20 pound saving. Over 20 pound saving. Yeah. Oh, I love it. That is astonishing. Surely, just one of these pieces, even the smaller piece you would sell yeah. for that price, just one. Just one, yes. The choker, probably on the left hand, uh, on the left hand side, would probably go for about £25. That is amazing. <gasps> I'm so excited. I'm so astonished at that. Oh, we want you all to get your hands on this. And actually, tell me how much we were saving again. 20 pounds and 60 pence. I'm gonna do, do you remember that stone, that gem? I'm just gonna test people's memory now. You remember that strand I showed you earlier on, the gorgeous fastest strand, and I, I showed you, I didn't tell you, you know, I just showed you it and said, how gorgeous is this? The saving you've got today, you're gonna be able to buy that strand. Honestly. Eee, so excited. Um, wonderful, so we're gonna be looking at how you started. Now, why why are we looking at this today? I think it's such a fab idea. It, it, well, there isn't really anything out there with regards to how to learn to write wire writing. There is a particular, uh, I think it's an American gentleman, who does a DVD that will teach you step by step, start to finish the whole of the alphabet. But it's a very expensive DVD. Mm. And when I was when I started playing with wire writing, I wanted to I wanted to learn because there isn't really much on YouTube. There is a few tutorials, but only single letters. Um, and I wanted to learn the whole of the alphabet. So I then used my noodle upstairs, the old the grey old matter, thinking box. the old thinking box, and um, come up with probably quite not necessarily an ingenious solution, but a solution that helped me work out how to wire right. And the thing is, what we're, you know, what we're talking about here isn't the way you still do it. No. But... It's how I taught myself. And that's great for you guys at home to know because you might look at this and think, that is daunting, I can't do that. Well, starting the way you're about to show... Yeah. 
everyone should be able to get on board with it. Everyone, anyone who has a PC or has access to a PC and a printer will be able to do this Love and it's that. just a case of perseverance and can you to try. Wonderful and therefore um, growing yeah. and expanding. Yeah. Wonderful. Where are we starting, gorgeous? So what we need is um, 0.6 mil wire is what I actually started with. Which is what you've got in the kit, don't forget. Yes. Yeah. Bear with me for a minute because I've lost my pieces of paper. Where have they gone? Oh, there they are. They're hiding. They're hiding. Um, now, these pieces of paper, gentlemen, gentlemen um, are we going to put these pieces of paper on Facebook? Yeah, fab. <laughs> we will take pictures of these and we'll put them on Facebook so that you can just click on it and then you could print it out if you wanted to. So what I did is if you go onto a well-known search engine on the internet and we're talking Google, Yahoo, any one of those sort of um, search engines, mm -hmm. um, and if you search for script written alphabet, you should find, if you ever look in images, you'll find a whole array of alphabets written in a, a scrolly manner or a script manner. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just printed off a few of my favourite pieces. So, and all I simply did, and I chose 0.6 mil wire because it's strong enough to hold a structure, mm -hmm. um, but and, and not too flimsy, so it'll still hold slightly. I see. So for me, 0.6 mil was an ideal. Um, strand a uh, uh, wire to work with okay now um, I did this by freehand um, when I first started and then I graduated to doing it um, with pliers okay so um, you always just take a length of wire just whatever you can actually deal with really just so whatever you're comfortable with yeah um, maybe if you're learning maybe to use a slightly shorter piece of wire and simply taking a letter of your choice so for example we'll start with the letter A because it's the biggest and the flanciest of them all okay and you simply with your wire and your fingers because that's all it's down to and it's just manipulation of the wire so placing the wire on the air, on the um, letter and finding a start point and we simply holding it in place forming or bringing the wire around. I used um, good old uh, traditional masking tape as I was doing it, but forming the letter and bringing it round, following the shape. Now, it may be, for those who have, um, I want to say de dexterity issues, because it's not dexterity really, but if you have slightly bad eyesight and your hands are all a bit not so easy to hold wire and it gets quite sweaty, I would, um, advised to make it bigger okay so make the letter bigger all right yeah yeah so and we simply just hold it on and we're going to trace the letter but just by using our hands okay so no need for tools really no for need bit. for tools on this bit no so we follow the letter and then as you do as you turn the corner move your finger so you're it's almost like tracing yeah but with wire and your fingers rather than a pen and a pencil so you bring it round and in some cases, like the letter A, we probably will need um, some pliers just to give it the point. So we bring it round. Okay. And at this point, with this letter, it's we are going to just use the wires just to bring it down in a bend. Just to make it a nice, yeah. sharp bend. So we bring it round. And then again, just continuing to chase, so holding it in place, bring the wire around. And always, yeah. my advice would be try and work with the curve of, of, of the as, wire. As so as you pull it off the reel, some of the letters will work better as you pull it off the reel and yeah. you work with the curves. Okay. So in this instance, we're doing the letter A. So as I've done it, I've brought it across the top of this wire that sat on the top. Yeah. So if I just pick it up and move it. So I brought it across the top of the wire here. I see. So what I'm going to do in a minute, because I obviously want it to keep its letter shape A, yeah, is I'm actually going to just gently with my fingers bring it round and behind the wire. So, so when that's you locking it. So it's locking it in place. So we've now. I need to, it needs to go up. So we're going to bring it round and again just using your fingers as you manipulate it round. Oh. Bent it. So straighten that back out. One bit on there. So pop it back on. And you're just picking up, checking it each time, yeah. aren't you? Replacing. Replacing it, bringing it round, but making sure you bring it underneath the wire. Yeah. 
and then it just has a kick out at the end. Then you cut that off. It's not very good because the hands are a bit sweaty, but essentially, with just a, a bit of manipulation and wizardry, you can make it and perfect. And wizardry. <laughs> and that's it. So that's just your letter A. So this is your letter A. Oh. So here we go. You can see. So it's really a simple it's way really simple. of following this design. It is. Um, your only issue is obviously when you come to letters such as T's and F's and um, I think it's B was the other one. Um, this one, I'm sure that's a T or is it could be a C. I think it's a T. So in this instance, we would, for a letter T, you'll yeah. again work with the curve of the wire. And this is exactly how I taught myself. So placing it on, bringing it round, and obviously all the letters are made in one piece of wire. So you bring it round, goes out, following it. And then for a letter T, because we want to make it look in one piece of wire, we fold it back on itself. So we put our pliers in and fold it back. Yeah. So we're going to fold it back on ourselves. And we're going to squash it together so it sits nice and flushly. Okay. So using sort of base of the pliers. Place it back on the design, or on your letter, and then simply bring it down and around. And again, you'll just sometimes you with 0.6 mil wire. You, in order to get a shape, just take it off the pattern. As long as you place it back on the pattern, bring it down, and just over it in a circle, because that's how that finishes there. Okay. And everyone has access to that, and that's your letter T. Oh, that is so wonderful. There you go. Take a little look at that. And that is the type of lettering that looks, it's like wedding writing, isn't it? It's a very sort of regal looking lettering. Isn't that wonderful? So then when you are then using your pliers in order to actually um, start to do it freehand, again, just use a length of wire and use your round nose pliers, which are these. And simply with your round nose pliers, if you take them and look at the f look at the shape you're following, so yeah. you'll sit there and you'll study it. So we're we'll, we're just going to concentrate on this bit here, just to make sure we've got it right first. Okay. So we take the end of the wire. And we're going to make it curl. And just gently bring it round. And I'm just going to offer it up to my pattern to see how much further I need to bring it round. Well, it's not quite right, so we just need to bring it round a bit further. Tweak it back. Yeah. So this is probably the next step that I took after I'd got used to putting it on the wire with, on the paper with my hands. I would then probably use the round nose pliers holding it in position. If you have got dexterity issues, you could just use the pliers all together at the yeah. beginning. I have got some really high end tools coming up for you actually. We'll finish this letter and then I'll give you the chance to get your hands on them. So bring it round. Okay, so we're now going to go up, so you're taking it off, and then just going to follow it by sort of eye. So I need to place my pliers in and bend it down. And again, with this, it's also down to artistic license, because you'll actually create your own style of writing and your own letters. Of course. I suppose it's like handwriting, it isn't is it? It is, very, is yeah. Different. Everyone's is different. No, one, no two are the same. So then Simply just seeing it by eye at this point. Aren't yeah. yeah. Oh, Cass, is that chocolate cake? Not for me, thank you. I'll have her piece as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cass. Ooh. I'm going to Malta in February. Are you? Got trimmed down. Malta. Yeah. Malta. Oh, that is gorgeous. This weather is going to be astonishing. Bargain holiday it was in the school term yeah. with my children. So in the school term in February, 
and I paid less than a thousand pound. For all of you? For all of us. Bargain. Oh, and you'll come back all gorgeous and tanned yeah. as well. Oh, how fun. And that's basically it by freehand. And there's the A, freehand. Take a look at that. Now, we've just shown you that freehand, and obviously to create that, you're going to need your round nose pliers. And, I presu uh, and obviously, precision is going to be key with yeah. this, because you want the, the curves and the turns, as it were, yeah. are going to need to be quite crisp. They are, oh, definitely. Thanks. In order to define the letters, you'll need to, yes. Absolutely. And I have got, which actually ties in perfectly with this, because we're talking about if you have got dexterity problems, this is could be a great way to get involved. Comfort grip round nose pliers I've got for you here. Now, this is perfect if you have got dexterity problems. Even if you haven't, that's not an issue at all. By the way, if you wanted that kit, you need to check out your baskets now, because I've not got hardly any left actually um with that 20 pound saving so do check out um your comfort grip round nose pliers they're great because they have got a slightly thicker handle to your usual ones in fact if, I, if you don't mind me getting these out is that all right let me just show you these uh, because they are the comfort grip the handle itself is quite a bit larger and it's, it's it's a bit sturdier in a way let me show you it compared to the ones we get in our normal kit in our starter kit you can see that is a lot thicker, isn't it? They are a lot, lot thicker. Now, that means that it, it fits nicely into the nook of your hand. You've got your bent area here, which your thumb just really nicely nestles on as well. And it is, it's just more comfortable to use. It is. If, when you're working, especially when you work up with a wire, so mm. you've gone from your 0.6, and your point eight's not too bad, but when you start working with your one mil wire, it is a lot stiffer in structure. Yeah, of course. So if you, those, I would have loved to have a pair of those at home yesterday when I was making the best friend's necklace, because it, these can rub and they can hurt when you're using Especially the wire and holding it, manipulating it in place. Yeah. So for comfort, they would have been ideal. Definitely, get your hands on these ones. And I've also got one of your absolute favorite tools in here as well. These are your nylon jawed pliers. Tell me why every guest designer loves these. I have four pairs. Four, you've four only got pairs. two pairs of hands. I've got four pairs. Um, for precisely this purpose, if you want, if you don't want to work with a curve and yeah. whatever you're doing demands you need a straight piece of wire, you can only get it so straight with your fingers. So using the nylon jaw pliers takes all of that effort because you imagine drawing wire through your fingers. After a while, your fingers are going to get sore. Yeah, absolutely. So if you've got nylon pliers. The strength, uh, the pressure is applied in the handle and you're just simply drawing along the wire. It makes life a whole lot easier. Really, really does make it easier, Very doesn't much it? Easier, yeah. And also, if you are working with coloured wire, uh, including this chartreuse wire that you get within this amazing price bundle, which is your 0.8, sometimes if you were to be working, especially with letter yeah. writing, and you know when you do have to sometimes lock it in place and bend it behind, if you use your own pliers, your normal metal ones, sometimes you can, you can nick the colour it. off, can't yeah, you? you can mark it, yeah, so it's ideal. Ni nylon jaws though don't do that because they're so soft inherently. You have got 10 metres worth of your chartreuse wire as well in your 0.8 5 inch round nose pliers with the comfort grip and the nylon jaw pliers as well. Your price today for all of this should be £14.85. However, we want everyone to get involved. If you've ever been afraid of wire writing, you don't have to be anymore. Get involved today at just £8.95. Oh, That's all it is today. If you've always wanted to wire write, if you've always wanted to write people's names, people's birthdays, best friends, nice comments, words from songs that you absolutely love and adore, and you've always been afraid to, we're showing you here a great way to get you started, and we're giving you the tools you need to make that happen as well at a really low price. You getting just the nylon jaw pliers for $8.95, I think is fantastic for how much people would love them, let alone getting all three of these stunning products today. Hello, Pamela, lovely lady. Susan's getting herself some. Um, Avril as well, what a beautiful name that is. Uh, Gwen, Julie, loads of you getting your hands on this today. Welcome, Philip's got some in his basket, make sure you're checking out. Lots and lots of you coming in for this today. Both of these professional tools and the chartreuse wire 
just eight ninety five. You don't need to be afraid of wire writing anymore at that price point. Give it a go. And let's face it, even if you still can't quite crack it for one reason or another, these are tools you can use for so, so much more. £8.95, congratulations. I've got different uses for each of my nylon pliers. Oh, have you? Go yeah. on. So I have one pair that I use that draws the wire to straighten it, yeah. because obviously with it being nylon and with it being wire, wire will cut through the pliers yeah, eventually. Course. So I have one set of pliers that does um, the drawing. Two, two, one draw, well, well, I have two sets of pliers that do two draws. So one will be for a one mil, 1.5 and a two mil. Right, so the thicker. The thicker gauges, because they groove, yeah. and then um, for the um, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, um, and not so much a 0.4, because I didn't really draw that, but for the 0 0.6 and the 0.8, I have another two pairs, and then another pair and then for wire writing when you want to squish the letters in place so there's no grooves and you still have a flat surface you have a hole of the set. set i adore that that is so clever there's it my makes tip. sense too it's my tip there's another time saving yeah. tip don't forget we want your time saving tips today share them with the jewelry making community you might pick something up along the way too just text us 60 triple seven so you text with a jm studio so that's a good time saver yeah it is very good different time tip. the same tool for a few of them but for different for jobs. different uses Love that. In fact, we've had a text in, we've had another text in um, with our time saving tips. Hooray! Love watching my bestie Michelle and the lovely Becky. The stoves are nearly as lovely as you uh, two. <laughs> Flattery Sammy. will get you nowhere, Sammy. You know that. <laughs> it will with me, Sammy. It will. Hello, gorgeous lady. How are you, sweet thing? Hey, I've got some treats coming up. Did you get that opal before? I know you and me have got a love affair with opal. Those nuggets, honestly, Sammy, just trust me on this. Oh, trust you wait me. till you see my challenge, Sammy. You'll be well jealous. You will be <laughs> jealous. Thank you for joining us today, lovely Sammy. Hey, Sammy Guest Design has just got our hands on this. I'm not afraid to tell you. Eight pounds and ninety-five pence. It's a bargain. Where are we going to see next, lovely lady? So, um, oh, Sammy, sorry. Can you text in your time saving tip, please? I'd love to hear yours. Love to. Text us in. Time saving tip. <laughs> so I thought we would just do a number of, um, of different letters. Um, this is just some that was on uh, were on the page as I was doing them. So mm -hmm. my favourite is the very swirly letter M or possibly letter W. I love that. Yeah. Gorgeous. But this one is obviously starts with a tail on the outside. Yeah. So we would you'll leave an X amount of tail. I don't know probably a centimetre or so. Okay. And you obviously, as you work with it, you need to remember that the tail is down on the outside. So try and make sure that the wire is in the right position. So in this instance, our loop needs to come down this way. So with my um, end of my wire pointing here, I'm just going to turn it around because I work right handed. Um, I'm going to bring the brown nose pliers in and I'm going to bring it round and over which is what it shows in the picture. Oops. So I've done this bit. I see. Okay, so then I'm now going to bring that down. Director Ben's given me a time-saving tip in my ear. This is his time-saving tip, which I don't think you're meant to do. Can I just say this? Oh, right. What well, you've just said? Oh, right. He's talking about his car and when you get a frosted window, he says, don't boil the kettle. Although in my ear, he definitely said a boiled kettle. Um, slightly warm water. No. Well, that's what I'm no, saying. It can't no, be cracky no, windscreen. No, no. Air conditioning. It's the best thing to demist your windows. Well, no, it's Ben's it says it's quicker because you just chuck water well, on it, put a bit of de-icer on it, it's done. But then you risk cracking your screen. Yeah. That's not a really good idea. <laughs> right, okay, Ben's now trying to get himself out of it. Not if it's lukewarm water, he's mm. now saying it started off boiling yeah, water and now no. it's taking a step down. I wouldn't use uh, <laughs> My director's now gone. My cousin's yeah. a car mechanic. And I work in the trade. <laughs> <laughs> I love um, that. Yeah. Uh, no, calm. <laughs> air conditioning to demist your window is the quickest way to demist any car. Mm. Um, I wouldn't use lukewarm warmer and I wouldn't use antifreeze. Good old fashioned scraper. If it's really hard ice, just a scraper and a glove. Mm -hmm. Because the de icer can ruin the rubbing around the window and you use water 
and obviously not everybody knows the temperature and a screen can crack quite easily mm. so just it's, I wouldn't know. I'd never so basically, that. Ben, stick to directing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brother P, I'd like your time saving tip in a bit, so get thinking. Thanks, love. <laughs> so remember, whenever you make a swirl or a curl, we, you need to tuck the wires over and under. So let's just move this so we can see what we're doing. So I've gone over the top of this wire. As I've come, I've gone, uh, sorry, under, the, under this wire. Mm -hmm. So the next curl I make which I'm going to place my pliers in about here. I'm actually going to come across the top of the wire. OK. Like so. And obviously, again, it's all it's like we were saying yesterday to the ladies. It's all about manipulation of the wire, keeping it in position, and then moving it and making sure it, it situates where you want it to be. OK. So we hold that there. So we've now got this bit. So we bring the flat nose, uh, flat nose pliers in because we need to create a nice crisp bend. Okay. Bringing them down. And this is exactly how I taught myself. And it is starting off in this manner. Yep. You then progress and you think, oh, actually, I can do it. I might try it this way next time. And I might try it this way. And then you get more and more confident, yeah. don't you? This is my time-saving tip. Right. right. Another tip from me. Good time saving tip. <laughs> well, not time saving, but to be able to teach yourself something new and different. Yeah. Um, we're using the flat nose pliers yeah. now, and because we've nearly sold out of this deal, I'm going to offer you another tool deal, all uh, again, but with the flat nose pliers. These ones, again, are comfort grip, and these are your precision nose comfort mm. grip flat nose pliers that we have here. So again, they're the comfort grip. Let me just show you the difference. Oh, you've got them, you little love. You ready? There we go. So you can see, and actually, this has got a really delicate sweep to it. These ones are quite an abrupt sweep, aren't they, yeah, actually? They are. um, so you've got your comfort grip flat nose. If you're new to us today, you're not sure what flat nose pliers are, briefly explain to us what these are for. Flat nose pliers, they are for making um, a flat... So if you wanted a sharp crisp edge, yeah. you'll place them in and it'll give you a nice corner. Um, I also use them for... If I'm such a, as a letter E, you need that little straight bit in the middle. Yes. And your wire has sort of come out at an angle. I don't know, so if we create the letter, we've got uh, N, uh, an R, is it an e? Which one do you create? Uh, an I, so it's just make an I and then I'll follow through to an E. Okay. So you're using that so, to squidge it? Yeah, squidge it in, keep it nice and tight. The reason you don't want, ob you don't want anyone obviously to see that it's sort of um, double thickness of wire. Yeah. Placing your round nose in to bring it out. But obviously, you can't really make an E from that point there. Can you see that? Hang on. Hold it the other way. Because obviously, we've gone down and Can we're doing joined that? up writing now. So we've gone down for an I and we're going up. Yeah, got you. I use the flat nose pliers then to pop them in there, as well as kinking it, but keeping the wire flat. And then the, the, the flat nose are domed on the top. Okay. So I bring the wire across. All the way around. All the way around. Using this ridge, and it will give you a lovely shaped letter E. Oops. And there you have it, Sue. And that's the type of thing we're going to be using these flat nose pliers for. And they're good at getting into nooks and crannies. Yeah, and flattening out your little ends. Out ends. And sometimes when you're weaving, you'll need to squidge the wires in together and you can pinch it with those as well. I've also got a complete essential, your comfort grip cutters. Now, these do what they say on the tin, don't they? If you've got a reel of wire, you're going to want to cut it off at some point. You don't want to use scissors because it will ruin the scissors, but also yeah. some scissors just won't cut through certain gauges, such as your one mil, which you're also getting in this bundle. This is one mil of your gold colored wire. One mil, we say, is, is a nice structural wire. It's a really strong, still malleable, but really, really structural, beautiful wire to work 
work with. And you've also got your 0.8 in this stunning fuchsia colour. Look how bright and funky and fun that is. You're going to need your cutters to cut both of these wires. Also, your cutters, you, of course, you use for things like yeah. your memory wire. Uh, not your memory wire, your... Um, wire? Yeah, no. Thread? Thread, thread yeah. Monofilament? Beading thread. Beading thread, uh, thread uh, monofilament. Uh, your elastics as well, you can cut with these two. Genuinely, it's, it's a tool that you will need time and time and time again. It's always good to refresh them as well because whether or not you notice it because you're using them so often, they do become blunt over time. Of course they do, like with anything. So it is quite nice to refresh them whenever you get a chance. And now could be that opportunity. 20 metres worth of wire. You've got these comfort grip pliers in the cutters and the flat nose. Your price should be £20.30, which is a wonderful deal for these if you've got dexterity issues especially. Um, but even if you haven't, it just makes your life easier. Why not? We're going to crash that price though. We're going really far down. It's Sunday. We always go a bit mad on a Sunday. And we are today. Your price for all of this is just £11.95 pence for all of this. Four products here that we've got. What do you think? That's phenomenal. Phenomenal price. I mean, you'll pay that just for the... Um, uh, uh, the flat nose pliers on their own if you went to our uh, very popular hobby store. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's amazing that price point, especially with the comfort grip. We've really thought about you with these. If you are getting ready to make lots of your Christmas presents or you are getting ready to make lots of pieces for your craft store, you will be amazed at how different, what a difference it makes to have the comfort grip. You truly, truly will. You can make for longer in general, can't you? Because yeah, you your can. hands really, just, yes. they're not as achy, it doesn't no. dig in. Uh, 11.95, loads of you already got this. Congratulations, everyone. CZGC64 is the code. And don't forget, text us in, 60777. Sorry, text with the word JM Studio with any of your time saving tips. Brother Pete. Brother Pete. Yeah. You've come up with a, come here. Yeah. Come on in, come next to me, love. Hi, Brother Pete. Hello, sister. Sister? <laughs> <laughs> you said that really with them. Hello, sister. Yeah. Come in, in. Um, how are you, love? I'm all right. Yeah. Time saving tip, what's yours? Um, mine is uh, if you don't want to do the washing up, you can just smash the plates. <laughs> <laughs> you can just get rid of them. It's, it's really expensive. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but it's time saving. Pit's tip, Pit, Pete's tip, how to waste money. Yeah, I love that. Uh, Brother Pete's going to be back with us in a bit with uh, another one of his stunning impressions today, so stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Um, we have had another text here. We've had quite a few, but let's squeeze one in now, actually. I love these time-saving tips. Isn't it nice to share ideas and knowledge? I just love it. Hi, loving the show. Oh, Sharon, you love. Um, how does Michelle link the letters together? Oh, it's a question. Um, as I want to do the necklace for my daughter, and that's Olivia. We will be doing a complete word um, in the next kit. So I, I thought I would show you in this kit just how I taught myself in this one, and then I would do a complete word. But what I will try and do is if it's Olivia, I will try and write Olivia whilst... Love it. Sharon, yeah. let us know what you, Sharon Olivia, it's daughter's name. Um, stay tuned because we're going to be doing that in a little bit. Uh, second designer inspiration coming up in about 40 minutes, probably. Uh, so do stay tuned. So we're just going to fin literally finish off this letter. Fab. So we've, we've got it on, we've placed it on our paperwork or, or on our, our stencil, I suppose, is a want yes, for a better description. Um, and I'm now going to create this section of the letter. So I've come down. And I'm going to go up and I'm going to create a loop so placing them in and it's obviously when you create a loop because you're not going to be um, tying the loop off tightly I always place the pliers in a bit lower than I would normally have okay bringing the wire across so look at where you last came across the wire so I cross the wire at this point so the next one I make is going to come under the wire okay so I'm bringing the wire over the top and over. Like so. Oh, that is so elegant, isn't it? I that very well, but... And that is all there is to it. I know it sounds silly and it's a rather simple technique, but it's how we learn. Yeah, it is, and it is about development. It really is, isn't it? It's about taking it step by step. Have a little look at this, beautiful. Beautiful I'll just letters. Cut that off at the bottom. Oh yeah, go on then. 
beautiful. Uh, so that's how you get yourself started. That's how you get yourself working. And this is going to be the starting steps for your wire writing. We are then going to be developing this in our second designer inspiration coming up in a little bit so you can create your full, full words, etc. Now we've uh, had guest designer Sammy's texting with her time saving tip. Thank you, love. Greatly appreciate it. My time saving tip is to mark my round nose pliers with a permanent marker at the various points so that you can make the same size looch each time. Sammy, that's a great one. So sometimes when you do want to create loops on pieces, mm -hmm. especially, for example, on, on this piece here, you're going to want each loop to be a yes. similar size, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, you are, yeah. So when you mark on your pliers these different pieces, you can create that look, can't you? You can. Every single time could have looked the same because I've done it before myself when I, I haven't marked my pliers, but I've done it myself when you're working and you can create one loop that's perfect size and then you have to keep redoing the other one to make it match. Yes. I, what I tend to do is I'll make a loop and then when I go to make a second one, I always cut the wire just that little bit too long mm -hmm. and then I curl, the, I curl the loop in and then think, oh, that looks a bit too left and I cut it off. I cut it off. Cut it off yeah. But probably Sammy's idea is an easier way to do it and a lot less waste of wire as well. Absolutely, no waste with that. Good tip, love that tip, Sammy. Better than Pete's, uh, some might say. Thank you very much for sending that in. Now, what have we got for our second designer inspiration? Oh, well, there will be more lettering. There will be, I'll be, I will be doing a complete word today, probably one of the most commonly word, words used, which would be love, because it's, it's a very standard symbol, I think. So we'll, we'll learn, we'll, I will show you how to write that word, but we'll also see if I can um, magic Olivia up as well. I love that. What a wonderful idea. And if um, Sharon is watching, maybe um, she could sort of work along and we could do it together. I love that idea. I absolutely love that idea. Now, just before the break and before our pearl showcase, which I hope I can squeeze in for you after this break, I have got so much wire here for you. We're going to do a crazy wire bundle. Everyone can get their hands on it. 100 metres of your pink 025. I love 025. Oh, it's I like to crochet. For me, just my favourite. Going to be great for crochet. Yeah, knitting. Great for knitting. Great for your Viking knit. Lovely spell binding, Laura. Binding's in on uh, in on Thursday, isn't she? And she's doing her um, Viking knit. Um, tutorial workshop so stay tuned for that um, you've also got in here 100 uh, 10 meters of your one mil you've got 10 meters of your 0 0.4 in the blue and then you've got your twisted wire now this is spectacular I love the twisted wire I think it's so great because you've got in here real beautiful texture you've got colors that you might not actually have at home in here as well and the work's already done for you so if you don't have a wire twister tool great it's already done here for you uh, 0.6 you've got here in the beautiful antiques bronze and in the copper as well. This is a great selection. You've got a bit of something for everybody in here, haven't you? You really have. Your price today for wonderful wires. That's not your price. Which I think is really good, actually. Well, you'd pay that for that on its own. 100 metres and, and the thicker twisted wire you're gonna love this price. You really are. We're taking it right down. Do you want a fiver off? We can do that and more. It's not that price. <laughs> 11 pounds and 95 pence for you today. That's half price. That's half, yeah. Pretty much, isn't it? A few pence either way. Well, you would pay 20 quid just for a whole wheel of, of 100 meters of wire on its own. So effectively that's free. Isn't that wonderful? What a great deal for you today. Well done, everyone who's getting their hands on this. Absolutely stunning. Now, we are heading over to a break. We're going to be doing a little bit of wire writing. Oh, but right. also, we're talking about the beauty of memory wire. Yeah. Now, why are we doing memory wire with, with wire wrapping? It's something you wouldn't necessarily put together. No. I've... Uh, I never, I've never used, I've used memory wire as um, our lovely Mark Smith does for macrame. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to give it 
I wanted to experiment to see if I could give it a different look other than simply using it for its intended purpose which was just a springy coil of memory wire. So okay. I've, tried to, I've tried to use it in a different manner. If that makes sense. It does make sense. Yeah. It really, really does. And this is a time saving tip, isn't it? Yes. Just before we throw over to a break, we, we, I really want to show you this. Tell us why this is a time saving tip. If you love your rings, and, 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 and many of you are a great fan of rings, and I absolutely adore them, oh, this really is a do. very easy way of making a very special ring very, very simply. Very, very simply. But it doesn't, it looks so high end. Yeah. It really, really does. Uh, say that to me again, so please. Oh, that Sammy's got another time saver. I love this. Go on. My other time saving tip is not to unstrand a graduated strand like I just did and have to sort through. Cry. <laughs> I had all of that instant. You've just snipped your graduated strand and it's all come off. Yeah. And you wanted the graduation, didn't you? I adore that, Sammy. See, isn't that nice? It happens to the best of us. We all mess up now and again we when we're making, don't we? Yeah, I have one as well. You know, we when you with wire work, because your hands become very hard, yes. and you get, um, I think they're called corns, aren't they, when you get dry pieces yeah, when you of get dry skin. skin? Well, in the fishing industry, they you can buy, and it's like a, um, a like a lycra sleeve which you can pop over your finger right. and every time you as you draw the wire through because I work with a wire in my hands I've a corn developing there I've just popped that over and it protects your finger and stops it that is from really rubbing good and then tip. the skin going hard I absolutely love that tip speaking of love I've just seen something or should I say someone have a look in there now I know that the the workshop light doesn't work does it Wait, go. Keep going. See who you can see through that door, Glenn. Who can you see through the door? I've just seen someone. Wait. Oh, look at this action cam. Right, just turn around a bit. Who can you see there, Glenn? Keep going. Keep going. Can you see someone? Glenn, follow him. Follow them, Glenn. <laughs> oh no, she's gone round the corner. Can you see her? There's. Oh, no, I don't need Ollie. No, wait. That's the <laughs> husband. That's the husband. Right, she might be in in a minute. <laughs> Whose husband do you think that could be? I think that's Mrs. B, isn't it? Oh, it is, you're right. Debbie Bulford's in the building. Woohoo. I'm going to try and drag her in in a bit. I am. We've got her. There she is, there she is. Look. Oh, she's back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless her. Oh, yay, she's back in the building. Oh, I love her so much. We're going to say hello to her in a little bit after this break. Debbie B, more Michelle and my pearl showcase. I, I am so excited. I will see you very, very soon. Stay tuned, see you after this break. Maker ships to the following countries. We offer two delivery services, standard and premium. So wherever you are in the world, Jewelry Maker are never far away. The 
Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moon's Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Get making and good luck. The early bird catches the worm. Don't miss out on your chance to grab our amazing early bird offers at 9am on weekday mornings. Catch them while you can. Welcome back, welcome back to our Pearl Showcase. I'm so excited about this. If you've just tuned in, hey, you've tuned in at a quacker lacking time. You really, really have. Shall I give you a little heads up if you have just tuned in of what we've got coming up that's brand new? Brand new coconut jasper cabs. Not got a massive quantity, I'll be honest, not a huge quantity. I swear to you though, they're gonna be under 30 pounds. All of them, for all of them, not each, all of them. They're gonna be under 30, I promise. These have literally flown in today. I would have given you a heads up about these on my Facebook, but we didn't know. Honestly, probably about, ooh, five minutes before air, we got these. That's exciting, isn't it? They're coming up for you, I cannot wait. It's gonna be a sellout, you're gonna to have to be quick. You're Gotta be quick on those. They're coming up. What time about? What time about, Helena? We'll do it after the second designer inspiration. About four. So stay tuned. About four-ish we'll do them. Now, uh, what else have I got? I've got this coming up for you as well. I can't believe this fasted. Unusual to see this fasted, actually. I'm glad we do, though. Sparkle under a hundred pounds. That's coming up for you in a little bit. Honestly, it's, oh, it's just, oh, I just need all of them, really. Um, now, Pearl Showcase. Let's talk to you a little bit about pearls. What is a pearl? Why is it so sought after? Why do people adore it? Well, Pearl is essentially a, an organic matter. Now, it never has a carat weight because it's not a gemstone, it's classed as an organic. And a pearl is essentially often will have a mollusk which will have an irritant inside it and to protect itself. It will um, coat the irritant in a substance called necra. And this builds up and builds up and builds up over time. And that essentially is what a pearl is. It's layer upon layer and layer and layer of this necra. Now, there's a lot of things you look for with pearls that will determine the price points of the pearls. Size is a big one. The bigger the pearl, the bigger the price. It's as simple as that. And there's a few reasons for this, but the main one is because of the time that it's taken for the pearl itself to build up. So imagine the irritant and, and the mollusk protecting layer and layer of necra every single, you know, all the time, constantly going, going, going. It takes, well, not constantly, the mollusk could be tired. Um, it takes around a year for every millimeter of the necra to build up. So for example, if you've got a pearl that is say seven mil, that pearl will have taken mother nature around seven years to create. So it's, it's so such a long process when you think of it like that really isn't it? So that's something you need to look out for today. I've got a real nice variety of pearls for you. We're looking at different shapes, different sizes and different colours. What I'm going to say to you is if you see it and you like it please do get on the phone as soon as you can because some of these I have really low quantity and um, some of these just with pearls, I think it's one of the main organics that you guys at home just trust us on. Whenever I have pearls on, unlike some gemstones, some gemstones I'll show and people will see them and like them and think, 
I'm just going to check what the price point on this is. And they'll wait and then the price will come in and it will go really, really busy. Pearls are the only one pretty much that as soon as I show you a pearl, the phone lines go mad because you guys know that our prices on pearls are absolutely astonishing. You always know that. You know that we do amazing price points on pearls. So I'd say, if you see it and you like it, just trust us that the price is going to be astonishing and get yourself on the phone because I don't want you to miss out. Um, I've got a real variety for you today. Where are we starting, lovely lady? On my tea bar. Now, I said size, and you can't get much bigger than this. Luxury. These have taken around 11 years for Mother Nature to create. Isn't that astonishing? You've got this beautiful lavender purple hue to these. If you've got amethyst at home, if you are planning on getting my jar right uh, cab later on, if you are planning on getting your hands on something a little bit seductive, then I would definitely get yourself on the phone right now. 0800 644 655. These are so large, aren't they, when you look at them. Have you seen these rings that are really in fashion at the moment? The pearl rings that are really in fashion that are just simply one singular pearl, usually with 925, and you just have them quite, um, quite proud on the finger. They're really, really in fashion at the moment. In fact, we've got loads on our sister channel, Gems, at the moment. We've had them for quite a while, actually. They're really, really popular. Pearls are something that is synonymous with elegance. It's synonymous with regality. It's something that through the ages and through time have had many, many different connotations, actually. Sometimes it was the connotation, I think it was in the Greek times, it was the connotation of a gift of love. Uh, then it went um, through the ages and it went on to a time where pearls were seen as a gift of uh, regality and a gift um, that you would see as being very prestigious and you would possibly give it to someone that you plan to engage or perhaps that you would think of someone that you might plan to give uh, if you wanted to ask for permission to perhaps marry their daughter it would be a gift that you would give in this type of piece so it really has just had a real change um, as we look over time in what it means but it's always meant elegance it's always had really positive beautiful connotations these are huge purple cultured pearls your price today It's just 1995. Where else would you get a necklace of genuine, huge 11 by 10 mil pearls at that price point? I bought faux pearls. Uh, we've got this. I've even bought plastic, plastic ones at a price point like similar to that. What do you think when you think pearls? Oh, weddings, bridal, mm. um, classic. Classic, 100% classic, classic, definitely. There's going to be a little bit of something for every pocket today. So if you want really statement pearls, this is your opportunity. 1995. We don't have many pearls left in stock at the moment at all. We do not. Say that to me again, love. We do not have pearls available to us oh they look good together uh, much at all we've found it a real struggle to get ourselves any for Christmas we really really have we've tried we've been to Hong Kong we've been straight direct to uh, the people that we buy from uh, to try and get really great deals get really great discounts some of the price points though were just so phenomenal and I mean thousands of pounds worth phenomenal shocking over the top uh, that we just had to turn them down so we've not got many pearls at all left anymore I'm saying around November time you'll be lucky if you see you know a strand of pearls every every day you'd be really lucky 
Shell pearl, we've got loads of. Loads of shell pearl coming through, absolutely loads. Great prices, gorgeous colours, loads of them coming in for Christmas. But for the real deal, you've got to be quick. These are your pink potato pearls. They've got a really gentle red tone behind them as well, actually, haven't they? Oh, lovely. They're lovely, aren't they? Yeah. This is your pink cultured potato pearls, and these are eight by seven mil. Beautiful variety that we have on this. And I think it's quite a nice little modern twist, actually, on, on your standard pearls, because it's not totally over the top. It's not completely random colour, but it's just a little bit of a fresher classic tone, isn't it, Michelle? It, it's a lovely tone, actually. Very coral. It would look like some, some of the corals that are right. Oh, I love that idea. Mm. Do you know what? It would go well with Michelle your challenge strand that's coming up later. I think they go really well. Ooh. That really oh, heats yes. it up, actually. It makes it almost more orangey, mm. doesn't it? How gorgeous. Um, you have got here eight by seven mil is the size on these. Again, for me, it's a full necklace strand, uh, length. Or if you wish, you could have a beautiful doubled up bracelet. And I've got so much left over there. I could make myself three, four <laughs> pairs of earrings, or a ring and a gorgeous, really highbrow, decadent pair of drop earrings. Pink culture potato pearls, eight by seven, your price today is just 11 pounds and 95 pence for you. They are so stunning for that price point, aren't they? And genuinely, again, if you want the real deal, if you want to own pearls at this price, now is your opportunity. They are not sticking around for long. We have seen over the last year yields going down dramatically, dramatically going down. And that means that the price is skyrocketing up. We honestly have found it so hard to buy. Now, I cannot remember. You know when Paula, uh, manager Paula and Hannah Oxbury went to Hong Kong a few months ago and they, uh, Paula saw a singular pearl necklace, so it just had one singular pearl piece on it and she asked how much it was and it was something crazy like £5,300, it was something like that, just for one pearl, yeah it was a massive pearl but just for that. Funnily enough, she didn't buy it. Um, but it, it really is. The prices are just skyrocketing. They truly are. Loads of you getting this Hello Multi Buyers as well to you all today. £11.95 for you. Let's squeeze some more in. Wow. This is going to go really well. If you've got those large purple pearls, you want to add these now. Straight away. Don't you? I'm bringing you these ones. These are your Latrons. You want those together now, don't you? Everyone. These are your purple side drill pearls, eight by seven mil. I've hardly got any of these right now. Hardly got any. Last Trump Saloon type figures I've got on this. That's it. Really beautiful selection. In fact, let me just bring your pricing straight away because I want everyone to have the opportunity to get the last set. £11.95 again, same size as the previous set, different colourway. Now, one thing I do love about pearls is, for me, certain pearls make me think of loads of different celebrities. Can you, when I say pearls to you, I'm sure there's a celebrity who springs to mind. Who comes to mind when I say pearls? The late, great Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers, very good one. Yeah, absolutely. What about you, Helena? Who do you think of? Producer Helena. Audrey, I love that she just went Audrey, like they were best friends. Audrey Hepburn, uh, she's referring to. Yeah, I, I think the Queen, because she always wears them, doesn't she? On, um, on, on uh, for a royal speech, doesn't she? And in fact, I've put together a little slide for you for some style icons. Some people that really highlight and make you think of celebrity, icon, fashion, all of these high-end stunning celebrities and they all actually have something in common and it's this stunning organic. Take a little look at this for me. Pearls through the ages. Now all of these women, I'm sure it's safe to say, are oh, your thinking style icon, aren't you? Or oh, your thinking just epic celebrity. You have got in there things like uh, Queen Elizabeth I, 
who I absolutely adored so much. When I was doing the Tudors at school, I adored her so, so much that I used to tell people my middle name was Elizabeth. It's not though, I don't have a middle name, but I used to tell people that it was Elizabeth. But can you see on that painting there, she has the uh, beautiful, huge pearls around the top of her headdress there. Um, you've got the girl with the pearl earring as well, which of course is a painting. It was, uh, so the painting was started to be created in 1665 and ended uh, creation in 1667. And of course, uh, you know, there's a film based around this, there's a book based around it, it's a very, very famous piece of beautiful artwork. And I found out that the pearl was actually a later edition. It wasn't going to originally be within this painting, but it was a later edition because the painter himself fell in love with the girl in the picture. Now, and I think that's quite interesting because actually, now this is a bit dodgy, okay? It was his wife's earring. Yes. Yes. Um, but he, he gave it to her to pose him for the picture because that's at that time how much of a statement these were that you would have to like lend these for a high class painting like this because that's how high end they were. It's truly beautiful. Loads of people on there. We'll go back to that in a little bit. But there's so many of you getting this, it's about to be a sellout. Well done. Please check out those baskets for me. Hardly any left. 11 95 for you right now on the beautiful side purse. Say where you said love. Oh, these are fun. Summertime. Spring, summer, brightness galore. Oh, it's even putting a really big smile on my face because it's just really zesty and fun and happy. Take a look. Oh, aren't they lush? Wait, hang on. The graphics on screen are completely different to what I'm holding. Yeah, that's where I got these from. <laughs> this, this was in that a different box this is in two mint green this makes more sense though doesn't it because i know our descriptions could be slightly off on color sometimes but no one is thinking that this is mint are they <laughs> um, you've got your mint culture pearls here they are your potato pearls eight by seven mil on these ones today Delicate mint, isn't it? Really delicate. Periwinkle, I'd say. Periwinkle. There's loads of you already coming in for this. Well done. Probably because you, you're getting the price. You know the price. You can see the size. You know what price is going to be. That's why you're all coming in. All of you are getting your hands on these pearls today. Now, how many have we had so far? We've had this strand, haven't we? We've had that strand. We've had this strand as well. We've had this strand. I'm about to bring you another strand. If you're planning on getting your hands on loads of strands of pearls today, you'll be in very, very safe company because, of course, we all know Coco Chanel, Gabriella absolutely loves pearls. And uh, she loved them so, so much. She used to, on when she needs a little bit of a boost, when she needs a little bit of a, a lucky feel, um, she used to wear five strands. When she needs a little bit of a boost, when usually when it was her fashion shows, because five was a lucky number, I'm sure a lot of us know that, she would always try and do her fashion shows on the fifth of the month. She would always do her big new season, you know, m sort of new twist on things, big eye-catching fashion show on the fifth of the fifth. Um, she would always in her fashion shows have five different themes as it were uh, on the stage she would then have five different pieces in each of those categories and of course chanel number no. five it was a really strong connection that she had with the number five so i hope you're planning on getting yourself loads of these strands today so you can be a little bit chanel as well uh, your price today is a stunner Nine ninety five. Nine Well, I didn't expect that. Did you? Nine pounds and ninety five pence for these beautiful mint cultured potato pearls. No, you didn't expect it. Do you know how I know that? Because loads of you have just flown in on the phone. Loads of you, multi buyers, left, right, and centre. Nine ninety five for these. I think this is a gorgeous colour. And actually, half my stock's gone. How nicely does this go with your special little kit we've got coming up in a bit? 
Oh, that is stunning, isn't it? They're coming up for you in the designer inspiration in a little bit. Yes, that's Emerald in the kit. Yes. Uh, 9.95 for you. Congratulations. Hey, I've got like three different Jennifer's buying this one. It's funny. Congratulations. I'll do the apricot for you right now. This is the sunshine burst, isn't it? This is your sunshine, zesty, bright, funky burst. Different shape we've got here with the apricot, though. This is your Baroque style because you've got the flattened back on these. It means they rest really nicely against the skin. Another thing I absolutely adore about this Baroque style is the fact that you know these are real. You know these are natural, don't you? You know that these are completely real. Now, Baroque pearls are really massively in fashion, in vogue at this moment in time because they've got this really nice organic feel to it. Lovely Ben, do you mind if I have that slide back up, sweet pea? Through the ages. Because this colour is actually reminding me, oh, it's kind of hard to see on that, but it's reminding me of the picture that um, Michelle Obama is wearing a, a, a multi-coloured strand of pearls on there. And it goes from the really, really dark, it's almost a peacock pearl in the centre, and it goes round to this apricot colour. Absolutely gorgeous. And actually, Hilary Swank, who is the second one down there, she's got a, a mixture of colours on. She's got purples, pinks, and she's got these apricot tones. Now, Hilary swank on that necklace second one down she has got um the baroque style on that neck piece uh, if you're not sure who hillary swank is she is a, a very very famous actress and um this is really coming into vogue at the moment the colors with the textures and that's what you've got here i love with the baroque style too that you do get those areas of texture which means you get a pearlescence that's unrivaled because as it hits at a different angle you get different spans of color i'm getting pearlescence wise from this greens oranges bright sunshine yellows, sand tones as well. I've got running through gold, old gold colours I'm getting as well. Lots of different tones running through this. Your price today, nine by eight. Six pounds and 95 pence for genuine pearls today. That's so wonderful. Don't forget what I said about the size as well. Nine by eight, taking around nine years to create every one of these mother nature. Six pounds and 95 pence for you today. So many of you coming in. What's my quantity looking like? Loads of you on the phone, we'll be with you. We will be with you. Started off with 98, that's going down fast though. So plenty of opportunities to get your hands on it. For me, a necklace length of pearls at 6.95 is absolutely astonishing, especially as this is so fashion forward. It really is. Can I get that slide up again? In the top corner, you have got a picture of Rihanna. Now, this picture was taken uh, when was it taken? It was at um, Adam's fashion show, wasn't it? So Adam's fashion show was on the... Uh, it was on the Friday. Um, so, you know, he's kissing... Uh, Rihanna's giving him a little smooch. Uh, that is um, Adam Salzman, and he is a fashion designer. Now, he's at New York Fashion Week, and he had his show on the Friday, so that's him with her on the Friday. And uh, Rihanna there, you can see she's got a double strand of pearls on. Now, I thought that was quite an important picture to put up because she's dressed in one of his pieces. He's the fashion designer who, in New York Fashion Week, had um, a fashion show on. It cost hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pounds to put on. But that is a fashion show to show you guys at home what's coming up in fashion for spring, summer 2015 and she is strewn in pearls and a lot of his models had big pearl pieces on. That goes to show you that pearls are not only in fashion back in the day, in current times, but they're set to continue on the fashion field, which means people are gonna want to see these gorgeous pieces time and time and time again. Because whether or not you like New York Fashion Week, whether or not you think it's a bit quirky and a bit weird and you'll never wear any of those pieces, the fact stands, and it is a fact, that the things you see at New York Fashion Week will trickle down 
through to the high street it will be a toned down version a liquefied version a watered down version but every single thing you're seeing right now at new york fashion week will continue and you will like it or not be wearing or seeing a lot of the pieces in your wardrobe this time next year so get ahead of the curb it's beautiful pearls they've always been in style they'll continue to be in style and at that price point it's irresistible 6.95 apricot side drill pearls got a squeeze another one in for you champagne anyone <laughs> Champagne. You nearly knocked someone out with a book's fizz. How? Direct to them. He opened it. First it was champers. First it was champagne. He opened that fine. He was like, hey, he's just said. And then he opened the book's fizz and he thought, well, I've just done the champagne, so it's going to be easy. Book's fizz, nothing's going to happen, he thought. He let it go. He was talking. Cork exploded out, hit the roof, bounced back, landed on someone's lap. Oh, you could have taken someone's eye out. He was nearly point black next to someone's head. You've got to be careful with these fizz. I love how you started with the champagne and then went to the books fizz. That makes me happy. I absolutely adore that. Ben says he prefers books fizz, to be honest. That sums you up. I love books fizz. Oh. It wasn't Bucks Fizz, it was another fizzy drink that I can't say the name of because it is a brand's name, but let's just say it's got like a weird deer on the front, hasn't it? Weird deer thing. Very 80s, very 80s. Uh, I love that story. Thanks, Ben. Um, champagne cultured pearls. They're stunning and they're unlikely to take anyone's eye out. Um, these are seven by eight mil. Now they are champagne, but I say champagne gold. They're really high-end, luxurious, aren't they? You see DP31. Let's get your price in. Just £8.95 for this most expensive of colours. Because let's face it, it's got a beautiful uh, sort of metallic effect to it. And gold, you can't get much more expensive in colouring, can you really? Brother, Brother Pete, come over here, love. Brother Pete, come on over. Hi, love. Hello. Brother Pete, I'm coming in early for your oh, impression okay. today because there's so many people coming through for this. Right. I don't want to move on yet because I don't want people to miss out if they want to see it. So go on. This is, this is my lovely brother Pete. He is absolutely stunning. He is our floor manager here. Very talented gentleman. Um, and Pete's cracking at impressions. You all right there? You sound like you're about to auction him off. <laughs> Do I? I sound like I'm about to auction him off. Do I? Yeah. Starting a bit of ten pounds, ten pounds. Um, <laughs> Pete, what is your impression for today? Are we going to work it out? Let's work it out. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. All right. We'll Go out. on then. Um, it's one I've done before, so that should. It's give one you've little, done before. Give, give you a little clue, but but I want to work on it. You've worked on it. Yeah, because so I, last progressed. time it was a bit kind of like. Uh, right. Uh, it was a bit. Uh, that's technical. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 it's not Yoda. It's not Yoda. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Because I don't think you can improve on that. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> okay, go on then. Go okay, on, Pete. Um, <laughs> you haven't Sorry. given me enough time to practice this. You've known about this. You know every yeah. day that I'm here, you have to do an impression. I know, but I'm never ready for a <laughs> Okay, come on, Pete. Get it together. Right, okay. Um, when you're selling a gemstone like pearls, you've got to remember that in the wild of Patagonia... <laughs> You're not going to find this, but you might find... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. The thing is, I know who this is because I've been told in my ear, but I still haven't got a clue. Yeah. <laughs> Pete, that wow, that was certainly something. Michelle! Who do you think that was, love? Do you know? A clue. Not a clue. <laughs> my director's saying to him now you need to fix this I can do, yeah, I can you need to fix I this because if you didn't know that was that was Bear Grylls <laughs> was, that? was it? Ooh. yeah of course yeah. it was 
And you're right, Bear Grylls is right. It's very rare to find pearls just chilling out in Patagonia. Very unusual. You're going to sort this out now, please, with one of your epic impressions. Yeah, okay. Let's do this. Someone, <laughs> someone's just messaged in saying, I thought that was an impression of Ed. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> no, it wasn't Ed. It was meant to be Bear Grylls. Awkward. <laughs> go on, you've got to sort this out now. All right, so I'll, I'll Epic go back. impression. Yeah, I'll do my comment one then. Well, you've just ruined it now. You've told <laughs> us. Everyone's oh, going to know it. Just go away. Pete, brother Pete, go. Oh. <laughs> I think I would be related in some way. Would you? I would if I were you. Come on, brother <laughs> Pete. Um, Serious now. Let's go. Uh, Stop messing with my pearls. <laughs> Go on. Go on, Pete. Pull the, it together. The rainbow connection. Oh, so... <laughs> so that's... That's how you start... That's how you start, Kermit. And then you... Then you... Uh, just go into it. And... <laughs> and, um... We're, we're selling pearls today. But, uh... <laughs> Do the song, Pete. Do, Do the, the song, song, Pete. You just want the song. Just want the song, okay. Pete. The rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. All of us under a spell. There you go. That was good. That was good. Did that, did that. That was good. That made up for it. Brother Pete. Yes. Beautiful, Pete. Gosh, he's good, isn't he? He is good. He's the talented one in the family, aren't you, Pete? <laughs> you are the talented one in the family. Absolutely amazing, Pete. Eight pounds, 95 pence, that's an amazing price for this as well. If that doesn't make you want to buy the strand, I don't know what will. To be honest, I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. Uh, champagne cultured pearls, congratulations for getting your hands on those lovely beauties. Where to, love? Design inspiration time. Are you working on your challenge over there, look? I'm just taking it apart because it didn't work. Just taking it apart. Just taking it apart. Um, I have got for you now the second designer inspiration. So in the first designer inspiration, we showed you the way that the lovely Michelle learnt her trade, learnt about letter writing in wire. Today, we're going to be doing, uh, sorry, at this section, the second designer inspiration, we're going to be looking at how to create full words, aren't we, Michelle? We are. And why is this an important skill? It just adds that little bit of a personal touch and something that's different um, and it's always for me um, just uh, uh, adds a finishing touch makes it more personalized makes it more your own um, than buying it off the shelf I for me that. that's what it is and the fact that you put the effort in there's just love you can feel the love in it that sounds silly but no. you can f when you write it yourself you can feel you've made an effort and there's a lot of love involved in it. i know what you mean i mm. definitely understand that and it is all about the personal aspect yeah. isn't it? definitely agree because did you see angelina jolie's wedding dress did you see that yeah, her children it? designed her dress didn't they and they drew drew the pictures on it they did yeah they drew they drew all the pictures on a veil and then it was all handcrafted in it had rockets on it and and you know it had pictures of them that they drew on themselves which is a really beautiful idea and that's kind of the personal aspect as well which mm. is just it's, it's lovely to have something unique isn't it and that's what you're able to create with this this is something really unusual because I've got wire and memory wire which isn't something you see very often is it Michelle no no very We're going to be doing some pieces for you today that everyone can get involved with though. Our text theme today is time saving tips and this most certainly is going to save you a lot of time. You've got your ring size uh, memory wire loops, 14 loops on this, it does exactly what it says on the tin, you can see I'm pulling that out, springs back to shape. You can just pull out one little loop if you wish, we're going to show you and talk to you about how to create rings with this as well later on. Um, but you can use these on earrings as well, it's going to fit any size because it's memory wire, if you add gemstones to this it will stretch out and fit any finger that you wish really. Uh, you've also got your bracelets, size, medium size which is uh, 14 loops as well. And then finally, 10 loops of the largest size, which is great for your necklaces. And actually, is what we've created this with. Haven't, no, we haven't. Well, it's not memory wire, that necklace. No, it could be though, couldn't it? Yeah. You could put this piece onto something like memory wire, because I'm thinking it looks very similar in size, doesn't it? It does. Yes. Um, yeah, you could probably, yeah, I think you probably could curl the edges of the memory wire over to have that effect. To have that as you talk. Mm. I've got in here your wire as well, which matches it perfectly. 10 metres worth of your 0 0.8. 
10 metres width of your 0.6 and your beautiful weaving wire in the very delicate 0.25 here that we have. A great selection here, a little bit of something for everyone with these thicknesses of wire and we'll be showing you how to use these for your wire writing in a little moment or two. I've then got three strands which are just impeccable quality, they truly are. If you love that pearl showcase, you're going to want to get your hands on another one. How about this one in the kit? Really delicate, green tone on this one, isn't it? These are your really delicate lime green straight drill cultured pearls, these are descri described as. I'm saying though, really delicate lime, isn't it? I'd almost say more of a spearmint myself. Seven by six mil on these ones. You're not going to think for a second that these are faux, are you? You're not going to think that these are acrylic. You know straight away that these are totally natural because every single one just has that beautiful, delicate, smooth shaping to it. I've then got emerald. Wow. Stunning emerald plain buttons five by six mil 40 carats worth that we have here emerald in a kit is a treat isn't it and you have got an abundance of it on this strand emerald is a gemstone that they believe will help you see your inner self that's one of the reasons actually we're using the wizard of oz it's one of the reasons they had Emerald City in The Wizard of Oz because, um, of course, once, you know, the uh, lion and the, the tin man and the scarecrow turn up and they're looking for the heart or they're looking for courage, the wizard says to them in Emerald City, doesn't he? You've had all of these things all along. And that's one of the reasons that Emerald was used in The Wizard of Oz because Emerald is synonymous with crystal healers many, many years all over the ages have believed that it will help you see your true inner self. It's a beautiful day delicate emerald tones every single one of these as well isn't it and then lastly but by no means least I think this is one of your favorite strands in the bundle actually wasn't it yeah this stunning <laughs> peridot tell me why you adored this one so much just a fresh vibrant nature of the stone itself just it was just invigorating it's an invigorating stone it makes it you is, feel isn't fresh it actually. And alive. It's, it's it's alive <laughs> It, it can it, 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 when you look at it, it dances, it just looks like it's alive. Yeah, I do know exactly mm. what you mean. And it has got an internal life, hasn't it, inside yeah. it, in the sense that it's got gorgeous fire. Yeah. Real bright, zesty fire vibrating through this gemstone. Your peridot, you've got 50 carats worth, and these are your ovals, five by three to seven by five. Love this as a ring. Love this as a bracelet as well. Gosh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, stunning. Where, would, you, would you generally work with Peridot? Lovely Michelle. Um, I, I have not worked with Peridot as a regular um, stone, and that's not because of any other reason. That I find it, it can be very expensive to purchase. Yeah. Unless you're, you know, I was really fortunate to get it in this bundle, but when it does come up on JM, I'm never available to buy it. So for me, it was it's just a pleasure to work with. An absolute pleasure. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It, is, it really is. It's vibrant, it's fun, it's fresh. Absolutely adore them. And these three together actually are just match made in heaven. Aren't they? All these colour tones working so beautifully together. Absolutely adorable. Now, I've got so, I've not stopped there by the way. I'm not stopping there. That's the end of your strands, yeah? Great. You've got all of your wire and, and your memory wire, but you've got cabs as well, honestly. Let me bring your price in. Let me bring your price in, your original price, just because this is getting in your mind where we're going with this. £40. I'm not finished yet. You are getting in here a, a selection of three cabs. We have got a really wonderful, bright, shining malachite pair in the, oh, 16 by 12 mil, sorry about that. Uh, and it's five carats worth that we have there. You've, oh, stop it, use lot. 
We never ever see Malachi, well we do see it obviously, but we very rarely see Malachite, do we? I've then got your oval in the Malachite as well, which has got a beautiful delicate banding effect to it, doesn't it? Really elegant, I love that. It's got all these swirls and swishes. And in fact, if you're planning on getting Ooh, in a little bit they'd go wonderfully and in fact if you're planning on getting the coconut jasper as well that's gonna go really nice isn't it almost like a turn from um, from spring to autumn isn't it a little bit uh, 10 carats worth on the oval which is 20 by 15 mil on there we have and then on the pair that is five carats worth on that and then finally of course the adventuring which is the largest of all three of the cabs 15 carats 25 by 18 mil i don't think we have adventuring on often either do we the malachite to have those in cabs is a real specialty oh. And that's going to be one of the reasons you're looking at a £40 price tag. But of course then, you've still got your emerald, so that's going to add your pricing up. Then with the quality of this stunning um, peridot, that's bringing the price up again. But then you've got the pearls here. Now these pearls are such exquisite quality. That colouring is so delicate. They've hardly got any dimples over them at all. Real nice smoothness to them, although they are the Baroque style. So for all of this, not forgetting all of your wire and all of your memory wire as well, £40 is a phenomenal price. Don't forget that emerald, 40 carats worth you've got there, which is astonishing. Your price today, though, is about to knock your socks off. Get a blanket, get your feet under, because your socks are about to be knocked off. Your price today is just £24.95. pence. That is a phenomenal price point for exactly what you're getting here. Look at this. This is like a boutique range. It really, really is, isn't it? Malachite, that's boutique. That's high end. We hardly ever see it. Adventuring, we see very, very rarely as well. Emerald, come on, that just speaks quality, doesn't it? You could just restrand the pearls and make your money back, really, couldn't you? You really could. And you've got all of the other goodies. And then you've got that peridot. There is loads of you coming in. Now, I need to let you know something quite serious. My quantity is low. When we do design of inspiration, we'll try and start with around a hundred mark in quantity. Sometimes it's slightly more than that. Today though, I've got 48 of this, and I know I'm really sorry, it will be a sellout, we know that, um, because of the uh, amazing amount you're getting here and the amazing quality as well, we know that it's gonna be a sellout. So please, if you want it, just get it really, really quick for us. Hello, gorgeous lady. Hello, how are you? Oh, not too bad. How's the challenge going? Well, I took it apart because it didn't work. You took it apart? So we'll try something else. So you're then. trying something different yeah. now? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Interesting, yes. So many people, are excited to learn exactly how to create these pieces. How is this as a kit to work with first off? Oh, it's lush. Yeah. Yes. It's probably two of my most favourite gemstones. Well, all of my most favourite gemstones, really. The pearls, the emeralds, the peridot. Probably very much, I wouldn't say it was my most favourite kit ever, but it will be within the top five. Would it? Mm. How many kits have you had with us now? Because you've had a fair few, actually, haven't I you? I have, yes. Blimey, you've had loads, in yes, fact. definitely. So to say that it's your top, top five, five out definitely. of the amount that Michelle yeah. has done is yeah. astonishing really, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it is it really, definitely really. one of my top five. And we're going to learn how to do your letter writing now. Yes. Now, I know it's hard to say, and I know every guest designer hates this question, but I want to know, what price point would we be selling around the Love Bangle for? Well, it's hard to say because obviously in different areas more affluent than others. But if I was, if I had a craft sale and where I live in Gloucester, for me, I would be hoping to get at least 25 to 30 pounds for that particular piece. Oh, yeah. But you would hope that maybe in London and the other um, more affluent areas, you'd probably looking sort of 45, 50, yeah, 55 pound mark. And it is important that when you're selling your jewellery, you are looking at the market yes. isn't it? and what's around you. Yes, it is. Um, I, so essentially, you could sell this piece. Uh, uh, and I would say very fair price, mm. very fair price of, price of £25. 
you'd get your money back. You'd still have a massive amount of yeah, yeah. emeralds, wouldn't you? Yes, definitely. I had emeralds, peridot and pearls left. Oh, I think I might have used most of the pearls. No, I didn't. But no, there was quite a few. There's, there's a bit left of each of the gemstones. It's fa fabulous, it really is. So where are we going to be starting, lovely lady? So we're going to start with the word love. And then I'm going to attempt to write Olivia. The kit has almost sold out. I've got... So people are going to miss out. Sorry to interrupt, lovely Michelle. Loads of people are going to miss out. Again, it's going to be another sellout for us today. Just be quick. Fastest finger first. Check out those baskets. Sell out in the next minute, probably. OK, so... Just take a length of wire. Um, again, um, the bigger you write the, the word, the um, more wire you'll need. So I've just chosen a length of wire, and it's probably 40 centimetres long, there or thereabouts. So what we're going to do, um, and I use um, my round nose. I have got some balers, which for some of the um, letters, like the um, letter A yeah. and um, some of the, uh, like the letter O, um, I find it easier to use. Um, the bailer. So if you've got bailing pliers, that would be fantastic. Okay. But if you haven't, you can do it with your own nose pliers. Okay. And then obviously we'll just use our flat nose pliers Fab. for today. Love so that. we're going to start with the word love and then hopefully, because I haven't practiced Olivia other than there, we will see what we can come up with for All Olivia. Right. So love that. Uh, this is Sharon who messaged in earlier yeah. on and wanted to see uh, this name popped out. The kit is a sellout. I'm so sorry to interrupt. I hate interrupting, but I'm not allowed to go with graphics off my screen for too long. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a shopping channel, funnily enough. I forgot where I works then. Um, it's a shopping <laughs> channel, so I'm not allowed to have no graphics on the screen. I'll go through this really quickly so we can see exactly what we're doing here. Um, 100 metres of your 025 gorgeous antiques bronze weaving wire. 100 metres worth we've got here. It's really malleable. It's really workable. This is actually my favourite gauge by miles. I love it. Um, I've also got in the antiques bronze your 0.4, which is a lot of other people's favourite weaving wires, isn't it? Yeah, it's my particular favourite weaving wire for weaving, um, uh, you know, when you're weaving wires together. Yeah, that's uh, your yeah, favourite one. That's my favourite one, yeah. And then I've got your structural, so two weaving wires, and now I've got your structural, but in a zesty pink. Look at that. Wow, tell it first. Get colour burst. Now, let me just see. I just want to know, really. Can I get your before price on, lovely Helena? Should be. I'm just going to be nosy now and see how these work together. Oh, yeah. I actually really like that. Should be prices £18.35. I actually really like those together. Mm. And tea's pants and pink. Who'd have thought? Uh, you were going to take it low. Like... Half price again, my producer's just said like half price again. Uh, your price is nine ninety five. Gosh, hundred and twenty meters worth. Hundred meter wheel. Yeah, one hundred and twenty meters worth of this wire. That is a really wonderful piece. And actually, we could quite easily do letter writing with these here, couldn't we? Most definitely. Yeah, definitely the pink wire. Um, yeah, you could do. Yeah, I put up on Facebook the other day. Did you see? I put up on Facebook that picture of the love necklace, the that one you, that you made, that you walked me through. That was my first. It was your first time inspiration because yes. we worked together on your first we did. one, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. Now I, her, Michelle, stupidly told me her Facebook page, <laughs> and I messaged like no other. Right, well, I've done this bit. Now what? Now what? Now what? And actually, on that, I was using a one mil and a naught two five. Yeah. So you could create. You can. Because you add on, obviously, when you want to attach words, you need to. Have weaving wire don't you i love it 9.95 loads of you coming in do check out your baskets for me lovely ladies and gents 9.95 for you on this today okay we're here let's continue lovely lady okay so i'm going to try and do it so that as i write the word it will be in the right direction on the tv oh, really? so as i write it it hopefully so it will look it like backwards? love yeah she right. says hopefully okay okay so this could go wrong, but I've got total faith. If you practice, tell me the truth. If you practice, no, you don't practice at home. No, Alison Tarry does. She practices at home, doing it backwards. Does she? Yeah, she does. Honestly, no, I don't. Yeah. So we'll see. 
We'll see. I've got oh, faith in you. We'll Michelle, see. you're amazing. You'll okay. be able to do it. So what we're going to... Um, have you got the word love there on the bracelet? Yes, just so I pay. can show them where I'm going to start. Yeah. So we're starting just at the top of this L here. We're going to start at this point here. And I'm going to do it nice and big so everybody can see. So with your um, wire, uh, with your flat nose pliers um, on a... Um, when you're talking of landscape and portrait, yeah, as yeah, this is uh, as my that would be landscape uh, portrait for me. That's landscape for me that way. So yeah. with your no, flat no, uh, round nose pliers flat, using your wrist and roll the wire all the way around. So Wait. it pokes out the other way around. Yeah, I see. Yeah, so I hold them that way. So you start with the wire portrait to you. Yes, and then turn it. I see. Yes. So that has given me my top loop. I get you. Okay, and we finish this off in a minute. Mm -hmm. So as you as you're bringing this wire around, you're manipulating this wire. So I'm bending it in with my finger just to create a nice sort of curve with it for the letter L. So it's sort of fancy flat. You're, it'll make sense in a minute. What I'll do then, again with my wire, my um, pliers, flat. I'm then going to bring the wire over, but in this instance, where I cross the wire on the front, mm -hmm. I'm going to bring the wire on the back. So taking my hand and simply pulling the wire over and pulling and moving the pliers round, and again using the thumb to manipulate the shape, will give me a letter L. L. Fancy L. I can see that. Yeah. So let's just message us in saying, can we sell the um, bail making pliers or the flush cutters? I'm sorry we don't have any in stock at the moment, but we'll keep posted. So the next thing we want to do now is to make the letter O. Okay. So because I'm, this is quite big so that everyone can see, I am going to use the bailers today. But you Which can we use, don't have in You stock, don't have, sorry. no. But you can because, do it without though. Yeah, you can use your round nose pliers, but because I'm trying to make the letters look nice and big so you can see what I'm actually doing, it's easier for me to use the bigger part of the balers. The balers. So, inserting my baling pliers, I need to make a letter O. So where I have this curve here, mm -hmm. I'm going to place the balers in. Probably about, just as a dip, probably on, right on the dippy. So, I'm going to put them in and probably place them on the dippy there okay and bearing in mind I have brought the wire to the back of this letter when yeah. I did this bottom loop I'm now going to bring the wire across to the front okay so using the wire I'm just pulling it over like so and if you don't have the bail making pliers you can just do it with your own nose you can do it with your own nose um, you could do it with a pen Oh yeah, you could well any anything that's just circular really. But I'm only using these because we're trying to make big letters so okay. people can see what we're doing. So as you as you're bringing them around, you're obviously going to remove your prize just to complete the letter, bringing it all the way around. Now, like anything, when you write and you you're writing joined up, as you think if you think about when you're handwriting, the V will start at the top of the O. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you're right. Yep. Yeah. So all you do is just complete that by putting it back in the bed and bringing it all the way around up to the top. Let's just make that a bit neater. So we have the letter. Oh. I see. And now you're more towards the top now. Yeah. So at this point, we just bring our flat nose pliers in, and we just need to create a bend at the top using the flat nose and you need to try and make sure the bend sort of is in line with the top of the O okay yeah so and I'm gonna have to move my hat just excuse me I just need to make sure I get it about where I need it to be so probably about there okay and then I'm gonna bend it out yeah, that's near as damn it I see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's just looping out. So it's now. just literally loop or kick it out, just so that I can then form the letter V. Okay. And again, holding the note, holding your pliers in place, because you're not, you don't need to um, use a round nose pliers for this. You're just going to put it down at an angle. Okay. Okay. 
and again just with your fingers just gently rub the wire through just so it gives it a nice flowing finish or okay. flowing feel rather than not finish and then once we've done this we'll go back to our round nose and look at, again you'll be placing your wires roughly so that you sit sort of flush with this line here so it's all on one line so it's all on one line which I think is about there and I'm gonna in this instance where normally I would bring the wire over I'm gonna do the opposite and I'm gonna reuse my hands so I'm gonna rotate my wrist to bring the V up Oh right, okay. So you actually rotated your hands then as opposed to the wire? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And why We're is doing that? Well. Um, really, uh, well, just personal preference, just how okay. I do it. No, nothing other than that. And everybody will find their own way of doing their own letters. Yeah, yeah. This is how I do it. So I then have them. We're doing quite well for backwards writing, you know. I think you're doing an <laughs> astonishing job. I really do. You're so fantastic. So then we have a V. And again, all we're going to do, like uh, the letter, it kicks out at the top because we need to make an E. So please excuse me, I'm going to bend this again. Okay. Again, just trying to make sure that you keep it all on, along the top line. Like so. Okay. see. There's your B. And then what we're going to do is, like I explained earlier on, to make a letter V, you can't make a letter E from the top of there because your E is going to sit too high. So where I've bent it, I'm going to simply bend the wire down slightly. Okay. Just a little bit Just of a, a bend. Just a little bit, a bend. And I'm going to almost sort of, because half some of this will be hidden as you bring the wire around. Okay. I'm just going to kick it back out there. I'm hoping that's down far enough. I it see. might not be. Okay, I just need to straighten that and do that again because it's not quite down far enough. Oh, no. should be better. That should be better. So that's going to be the... So this will be our letter E in a minute. So I've probably brought it down too far now. It's a very big E. Um, and then using the flat nose pliers, and they have, they all have uh, a hump. A bit of a dome. A dome, that's mm. it. Um, a dome. So we're going to use this to our advantage to create the letter. So using our flat nose pliers, place it in, and again, so... With this instance, I brought the wire to the front of the letter when I bought it on the O. Okay. And there isn't anything on the V, so in this instance, I'm going to be bringing the wire around the back of the letter. I see. Again, for me, it just creates, it just looks, makes it look a little bit more uniform than that is too big, and I can't, my brain won't let me do that. You're a perfectionist, Michelle. I am. It won't let me do that. And you simply roll the wire over. And then with your fingers, and roll in your wrist. And with your fingers, just manipulate the E in place. It is a bit big. So again, you would just maneuver it until it you could just fits. scoop it around. Yeah, it is literally just the movement of the wrists. And that's just bringing it down. Yeah. It, it down in size. Yeah. And don't you just love it? <laughs> That's so wonderful, isn't it? It truly, truly is. Can you see now how this is a progression? From how we started off on our first designer, Inspiration, that was amazing, Director Glenn, um, <laughs> and then how we have progressed up to this way of doing it. Yeah, exactly. It's spectacular, isn't it? Um, uh, thank you for showing us that. We're carrying on in a moment. Mm -hmm. I just need to let everyone know that once you lot check out this, this kit, uh, this goodie selection, will have a handful left. So check out, make sure that you get it if you want it. Um, we've had lots of texts in today for our time-saving tips. We're all helping each other out. It's a Sunday. We want your time-saving tips for us. My tip is when working with monofilament and the beads and beads um, the bead is to take a black permanent marker and colour the end of the monofilament Betty from Swansea you're so right sometimes monofilament is like invisible yeah. isn't it yeah. especially when you are threading it through your beads yeah. 
I always miss the end. And yeah. then I give up with my love film and I put it in the bin. Well, Betty's <laughs> just saved you time That's and she money. has. I like that. Permanent marker just on the end. And then, yeah. obviously, you can snip that bit off at the end, can't you? So you don't have to, have to still have that. That's a brilliant message. Thank you very much. Do keep these texts coming in, 6777, or, or messages on jewelrymaker.com as well. Uh, here's another one. I love time-saving tips. I wrapped graduated strands of slice of in a slice of cling film and then oh, ease yeah. stringing out from one end and then it kept them in the as they originally stranded. Very clever. I like that. That is so a very clever. clever. So you put them on the strand. Hey, Sammy could have done with that before. Yeah, actually, couldn't she? Sammy, does it, does Sammy just messaged in before saying that she's just ruined a strand. She drops a strand and graduated everywhere. Really annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you're having a good chuckle there. I do. Could you see, have you done that yourself? Yeah, I could see it, yeah. In <laughs> fact, I did, I did that with my peridot strand, except I wasn't on the table. I was on my sofa, which has crevices down the side. <laughs> um, but fortunate enough, I have a sofa um, which at the bottom has a zip. So if anything falls down, you can open it. And my husband was unhappy. <laughs> that is so clever. I love that you have like your your sofa has like a trap door yeah. <laughs> for all yeah. of your gemstones that fall down. I need one of them. Yeah. Because I have to scoop. I'm a scooper because I do on my oh, sofa. Yeah. I have to scoop. Get your hand down and scoop. Yeah. No. Dog hairs that come out with it though is a nightmare. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Sending that in. I love that idea. Get it on the cling film because the cling film's texture will stay where it is. Quacking idea. Thank yeah. you very much. Now this wire bundle is about to sell out once you lot check out. So I'm going to squeeze another one in before we continue with this. Which one did you say you wanted, love? Oh, this one here. Um, more of your professional tools now. Your chain nose pliers. These would be great for any, because look how smooth they are. Lovely. Uh, there was a bundle on in the week on. with um, round nose pliers right. and a set of uh, my fifth pair of um, nylon pliers. Um, and I ordered them. Did so you? They, they, they were in a bundle with round nose pliers, flush cutter pliers, and I ordered the bundle myself. So you're getting these delivered? So get, uh, no, I'm picking them up. You're picking them up? Oh, yeah, yeah. of course. Well, you're picking them up because yes. you work here. Yeah. Um, but look, this is what I'm saying about this is the E shape. Can you see how smooth this is? Yeah. Because these ones that you get in the kit, if you have a look, they're a bit um, angular, yeah. aren't they? The top, can you see here, you've got an up and a cross and a down, whereas these ones are perfectly smooth. Yeah. So that's going to be gorgeous for the E letter writing, isn't it? Definitely. Chain nose pliers are great because they go to a point, so they get into all those nooks and crannies, those crevices that your fingers just won't get to. It is wonderful, it truly is. Um, wire you're getting with this too. I'm going to be get, giving you the blue coloured. I adore this blue. It's like denim midnight blue, isn't it? I used to yeah. want my hair this colour. Um, 0.6. Yeah, my hair. I'd love. I would. I'd look like what? Smurfette. She was blonde, actually, wasn't she, producer Helena? <laughs> I always wanted cosmic blue hair. I had blue and pink when I was... Did you? I did. I had very, very short spiky hair. And oh, this wow. was when I would have been... Well, I passed my motorcycle test in 2003 because I got a full motorcycle licence. So it would have oh, been wow. in those days because we were going out on the bike. And I had very short, spiky hair at that point. And I always wanted to be seen to be a bit of a rebel. Yeah. So I had baby pink and blue highlights or lowlights. In your hair? In my hair. S like streaks of yeah, it? Yeah, because it was all spiky. So you had spiky, streaky hair on your motorcycle. Did. did you wear leathers? Oh, yes, I did. The yeah. whole thought of that now really doesn't look very pleasant, but I wasn't as big then as I, I, wasn't as big I, then as I am now. I love the sound of that. I think that yeah. looks cool. I think you should try it again. Michelle, <laughs> I really do. Oh, your kids would love that, dropping, you off, uh, dropping them off, wouldn't they? Yeah. The schoolyard. I've still got my motorcycle. Have you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I love that. Yeah. Have you got a name for your motorcycle? Uh, no, not really. No. no, I don't really name my Do you not say one. like, oh, I'm going out on the hog? No. Do you say that? No. Yeah. No, I don't have a Harley type bike. Oh, is that what a hog is? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I just thought that's what people who have bikes said. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you also have here 10 metres worth of your antiques bronze, and this is our second thickest gauge 1.25 antiques bronze for you today. This is going to be a stunning little deal. It should be 
but we want you to live life on the wild side. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna take it low. Your price today is just eight pounds and 95 pence for you today. That is all you're paying. That's really wonderful price because in some places to get really high end tools, you could be looking at that price just for a set of tools, but you're getting wired with this as well. And don't forget, please, this is our 1.25. Now let me show you this. I, I'll be honest with you. When I saw that we had 1.25 and 1.5 in, I thought, ah, you must be mad. I can only just handle one mil. I can only just about get my head around one mil. I got myself a 125 and I got myself a 1.5 as well now. And now, very rarely do I actually use one mil as structural. Very rarely. Because this is so malleable. Look, this is just with my fingers. So I don't want people at home who are thinking that is one of the thickest wires you do. It's really new. I'm not sure about it. Never tried it before. Do not worry, honestly. Because look how malleable this is. And you can letter write with this as well. Because yes, you I can. have. Good for cuffs, letter writing, wouldn't it be? Yes. Because, it's, because uh, like... Yeah, a cuff, you can catch it. So I would let... You would write your word and then essentially do what we've done on the cuff as you would probably frame it either side... Yes. Um, like with this. um With your 1.25 mil, or you can make it as we did with that one. So that is all made in one piece of wire. Yes. So then it literally, that's where your E ends. You would then bring the wire all the way around and over. Oh, and so catch you get it in at the bottom. Yeah, you see, so you finish off your E and yeah. go all the way around. Yeah. So you could do that really easy with one. Yeah. Because something with a cuff, you want it you need to a bit be a bit, you know, a bit rigid. You really do, don't yeah. you? Especially if you're knocking against things. So if you have been worried about using your one two five, there's no need to anymore. Honestly, really easy. And actually, at this price point, with these other goodies, it's a nice way just to give it a try, isn't it? Eight ninety five. Congrats. Congratulations, everyone. Get your hands on that. Lovely bubbly. I'm back with you. Okay. Um, the other thing I was, um, I have been regularly asked is, how do I make a perfect heart in wire? Now, yeah. my hearts aren't always perfect, but this is the way I do them. Okay. And I suppose this is probably a little quick tip for all of those. So, oh, another quick tip. Yes. So, to finish off the wire, um, on that letter, I think on the bracelet I just did a loop. Yeah. So, um, if you were going to hang it on a necklace, you're going to bring the wire on up. Okay, so your hanging point on a necklace, you'd use the loop on the top of the L. Yeah. Yeah. And then you've got nothing to hang on here, and you can't hang a, a, a chain from there because it wouldn't look right and it would hang funny. It'd be wonky. Yeah, exactly. So I always put a little flourish on mine rather than just a loop. So in this instance, we'll put a heart on the end of this one. Okay. So, like everything, we already have the bend because it's as you brought the wire around. I see. So then you just find an appropriate place on that wire where you would like your heart to sit. So in this instance, I'm going to pop my heart, my round nose pliers in there, it's probably a bit high. And I'm going to bring them round. Now this bit doesn't matter whether it's at the back or the front. Okay. You're just easing the wire. So you're okay. easing it round. And don't complete a full circle. So you need almost like an elongated tear, sh tear shape. Okay. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah. Get your flat nose pliers and either at the back or the front, in this case the wire is at the back, so we're going to do it from the back. Uh, I don't know, about four mils or so? Yeah, in. Four yeah, mils yeah. in from the, the curve. Yeah. We're going to bend that wire up. And again, you're using your wrist there, you're Bend not actually pulling yeah, the wire, you're not, you, Yeah, because if you pull the wire, you're going to pull it all out of shape. shape. That's yeah. why you use the wrist. That's good tip. And then you squish it together. And this is what the chain nose pliers are great yeah. for. You get your round nose pliers, pop it back in. Holding want, that bit you've doubled holding up. Holding that bit we doubled up. Bear in mind we want a symmetrical heart. Yeah. Rolling it all the way back round. In the same place. In the same place. And I suppose if you wanted a smaller heart, you could do what Sammy said and put a marking on it, couldn't you? Yep. Yeah. Bringing it round. And then it's just, oh, well, that's not very good for me, but it's all then just about teasing so in place. And that is how I do my hearts. And I've been asked that quite regularly on Facebook. How do you get your hearts to be so nice? And that and is how. I've not done a very good job of that. I put the, the thing too wrong, so I would normally use a bit of a shorter one. But that's how I do a heart. That is so quick and easy. Yeah. But lovely. Hmm. A pair of earrings done like that. Yeah. With that that's technique. what I did with those there. And then the two ends. These earrings just are wrap them in. So you just wrap the ends of the wire in. 
Aren't they wonderful? And actually, on the bottom of these, that, that heart that you've done, you can see you have wrapped in at the end. Yeah. But this is actually a separate section, isn't it? Yes. Which gives it a gorgeous dangle. One of your emeralds, and then your heart. That's so cute. I adore it. Okay. So, I'm going to attempt to do Olivia now. Now, I have not done a very big O before. So, I've trialled one here. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's exciting. On the spot, On the spot. So, this is my letter O, and I'll show you how to create the letter O. And then what I'll do is I'll finish it. Because Olivia, the rest of the letters will all just work in the same manner um, as the O, V, and the E. Okay, yeah. But um, I wanted to try and practice an O, because obviously what you've got to bear in mind is you've you can't leave it open because if you leave it open with it being 0.8 mil wire it'll pull it'll pull out of course. so i wanted to work out a way of a, i could catch it so i know it's quite a good one to see actually because it's quite a tricky letter yeah, it when you start be. off when you start mm. off a word with it thanks sharon i love you <laughs> <laughs> love so that. with your own nose pliers i'm just going to create a small loop Again, I'm just rolling from my wrist. At this point, I'm going to bring that round and just continue rolling with the wrist. Mm -hmm. Take your own nose pliers out, pop them back in the loop and roll again. So you're holding the wire in place. The work is actually being created from the wrist itself. OK. Yeah. So this is where your letter is being created. Hopefully, we're going to look like an O in a minute. Yeah, it does. Yeah. We have an O. And at that point there, where it, the two wires met, I've done it a little bit different than that, I just open that loop up. So that first loop you did, open, first it like loop a jump ring. open it like a jump ring. Towards the back. Okay. And I'm just going to catch that wire. Oh, that's clever. And then lock it into place. And lock it into place by closing that loop again. Okay. okay. Yeah. So that just locks in your letter O. Because I was concerned that it might come undone if you, and if you leave it like it, it well, you don't want it loosening or yeah, popping open, do you? Probably a better one than that one, actually. Looking at that way. So um, then, all you're going to do is, with your own nose pliers, just follow the shape round. Follow that shape of the O. Yeah. And you're just moving your pliers across a little bit each time, yeah. aren't you, to continue that loop in the same manner. So we have an O. And now you need to create an L. So like everything else, we're going to kink the wire out. And you just need to try and remember just to try and keep all the letters on a, a rough sort of same, the same sort of size. So we now need to create a letter L. So we're going to with our flat nose pliers, as we, at the point we've kicked it out, yeah. we're just going to hook it up a little bit. Because what you've got to remember, with Olivia, we need the L to finish at the bottom to start the I. There's no yeah, point course. in the wire finishing at the top to start the I, because it's not going to work. No. So in this instance, we've taken it, we've kicked it out from the um, a point on the O, yeah. and we've put the flat nose pliers in just to place a, a little sort of flat space. And now I'm just going to create an L. So with that, and probably only two or three mils up from where we've just created that flat point. Okay. There. You're going to bend it down, like we did with the heart. Okay. And again, this is how I do it. There are other people out there that probably do it differently to me. We're all different. Oops. So then you just bring it down. So, so it's hiding that back as well. So it's hi yes, it's hiding that hiding bit. The hiding bit. the mechanics of it, I suppose, yeah. might be a better yeah. description. So we have almost taking the round nose pliers and then creating an, a loop at the bottom. We have an L. O L. Oh. This will be oh, interesting. Well. Okay. This will be interesting. <laughs> I love you have faith in yourself, don't you? Uh, 
You're doing this for the first time. This is uh, this is the first time um. I have written Olivia. So, Amazing. Um, in this instance, uh, because I brought the wire to the front, and I knew normally when I would say if I brought the wire to the if I bring the wire to the back, ultimately, then I take it to the front. But because we're just doing straight letters for a minute, and I'm only going to make a small eye, okay. I'm going to bring. I'm just going to repeat by taking the wire to the back. So, obviously, the eye doesn't need to be as need to be as big as the R. So I just probably about there. Hook it back and squeeze. Have an, an I. O and an I. Ollie. There you go. O and an I. Ollie. And when we did the V earlier on, we started at the top of the O. We are just take just pinch the top of the I. Okay, the real the real nib. top. And just pull the wire out. Because the V is going to start at the top. Because you need to be You always the top. have to think step ahead. It's like yeah. chess. Isn't it? Yeah. And again, just taking the flat nose pliers because you're going to bring it up a bit, making a bend. Yeah. To make it look, and then moving the wires down, uh, moving your flat nose pliers, create the V. Okay. Oh, And looping that over. Gosh, not too much pressure, Michelle. Oh, oh bless. <laughs> it's nice though, it's good to see kind of a piece in creation as it well, were. Well, I think it's also nice is I can say I can write by hand and I can do very easy letters such as love and things like that. And you think, oh, well, that's just easy. And you get used to the flow of things. So to challenge me to write a different name that I've never written before has nice. probably been it's quite nice. beneficial, really. Because yeah. then other people will see, well, it is all just a case of practice. Once you know how they all flow and where the letters end and where they start. I don't know why this has made me think of this, but I'm now wondering, do you think Pete could do an impression of Popeye? Because I'm just thinking, olive oil, Popeye's a pretty... Oh, what does olive oil sound like? Oh, she? Popeye! Does she? Oh my gosh! Me and brother Pete, if he can do Popeye, we could do a... It's a whole spoof. We could do a whole episode. I'm going to work on this. I'm going to see. He's on his break at the moment, probably having a sarnie. He likes to read a book and watch episodes of things, he doesn't he? Films. He watches whole films on his break, you know. Does he? Yeah, he really does. I know, especially on the weekend, there's no one in. <laughs> if he also watches his own films, he's like, oh, that film was good. <laughs> I love you, my God! <laughs> he's watching a film at, in the moment. I'm going to see if he can do Popeye. That's just reminding me of olive oil. That's olive mine. oil, yes. Olive oil. <laughs> so we've got O, L, I and V. Yeah, see that? We are going to pop our play pliers in because we now want to create an A. So we're going to bend it out. We are going to pop our, again, and I'm only using the my um, balers because I'm doing big letters. Yeah. I'm going to bring it in. You can do this with round nose, don't own. forget. Yes, you can. It's only because or I'm a pen. Used, or a pen. Or the end of an awl. Yes. Yeah, little letters. Yeah. Would you be work hardening these for certain pieces? Yeah, you would every time. Yes. Once you've done them, there's probably one or two times um, that you would work harden them. Um, certainly, it would be a, a worthwhile work hardening if you're using 0.8 mil wire, you would just need to remember to make sure the spaces are a little bit um, bigger between each of the letters, because obviously when you flatten it, yeah, the, we the wire spreads. Mm. So you don't want to look like the w letters join together. Can I just ask you something? You want me to whack it? No, oh. no, I don't. What? How do you spell Olivia? O L I V A. Olivia, isn't it? Yeah. Olivia. Olivia. Or is there another I? I don't know. I'm Olivia. happy with that. I'm happy with Olivia. Well, Olivia. Olivia. No, you might be right. I don't know. Should we, should we check it yeah. on the old internet? I'll take we'll that A out just for a minute then. I've got to put another I in. Maybe. I'm not sure. I thought it was L O I V A. I don't know. Olivia. I find it really hard to spell my own name sometimes. 
and you're not a natural blonde. It's got a second eye. It has. See, this is the thing. <laughs> my name, I can spell really quickly my last name in capital letters, but my first name I find really hard to spell in capital letters. Why? Because when you grow up, I understand how bizarre I sound right now, but <laughs> in, in my, right, in, when you're younger and your mum and dad answer the phone and they go, you know, oh, hello, yes, and they're speaking to someone, they go, yes, it's Redican, that's R-E-D-I-C-A-N. You learn, don't you? You hear it. But obviously their name isn't Rebecca, so for me to spell Rebecca in capital letters, I have to really think about it. Why are you giving me a pen and paper? You are spelling test coming. Why oh, yeah. I have one of us. Oh my gosh, can we have a spelling test today? <laughs> That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Uh, I'd love that idea. Shall I sell this product first? Probably. My producer's like, well, we've got to sell this first. Hello! And your block. Have you got a rubber block, can I ask you? I ha no, I don't have the rubber one. I have the steel one. What is it about a rubber block, you think, which is why everyone's been adding it? Because if you're anything like me, yeah. And you work until the early hours of the morning on kits. And we're talking half past twelve, gone at night. Well, you went to bed at half past one this morning, you? went didn't to bed at half past one this morning. And you're in bed with the bedroom light on and two small children in the room next door and you've got your hammer and your metal plate out. Yeah. It'd be rather annoying. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. So it's very much a, you know, it's very much a sound deadening tool as well. You can use Absolutely. it as well as sort of using it to hammer onto. You could use it, uh, put the rubber map down, then put your um, steel steel piece. block on top. Yeah. It, it takes out some of the sound it that it makes. Sound. And also, actually, if you've got a steel block and you get your rubber block, you can just do that on top of yeah. your steel block. Say this is a steel block. I'm going to do this really gently. You could then <laughs> hammer and do it like this. And that's really easy if maybe you're doing quite a large surface and yeah. you want it all to be what you don't want one area to be pitted, no. you want it all to be very, very smooth and very, very straight in, yeah. in size. Then you can absolutely do that. Yeah. And actually, you could pop it on and then hammer on top of it with your piece inside. So that means that you're not going to have, you know, sometimes with crossover areas, we say, don't we, if your wire crosses over, do not hammer onto them directly. No. With this, though, you can still strengthen that area because you put the rubber block on top, you hammer on top of that with your piece underneath in between your steel block, here would be your piece, hammer onto it, and you can hammer all the way over it. And that means you can keep a, a piece with loads of crossovers all yeah. nice and work hardened and strong. Because essentially what hammering does is it changes the internal composition of your wire, which means that it's going to be harder, it's going to be stronger, it's less likely to bend out of shape. Uh, guest designer Sammy's messaged in. Go on then. Hello lovely Sammy, how are you love? The block is great for stopping your anvil or steel from slipping. Good one. Good, so if you've got your anvil, or you see a great stop it slipping. Because you can have that sometimes, especially yeah. with the anvil, can't you? The little yes. runaway anvil. Yeah. <laughs> you can have that. So great tip. Thank you, Sammy. Oh, another time-saving tip. You don't have to run around after your anvil. Just pop it on here. Uh, so this is your rubber bench block. And you're also getting in here some doubled up twisted wire. 10 metres worth of your one mil. I always say, though, it's like you're getting 20 metres, isn't it? Really? Really, if you untwist it, which you can, you've then got 20 metres if you wanted to. Get those nylon pliers that we had on before straight now. You could get 20 metres really, couldn't you? So, I've got here your hammer for you. Now, this is now a chasing hammer, which is a slightly different chasing hammer to the one we brought to you originally. And that's due to, mainly, uh, due to the handle. It's also due to the size of the actual doming as well. So even if you have the original hammer, and you think, I don't need another hammer, Treat yourself to one because this has got a beautiful smooth surface and I'm sure if you've had your hammer for a while it's got a few pits in it yeah. by now and also you've got your dome in section here as well. The handle itself is ergonomically designed too so that you it's going to stop the reverberation through this handle as well and um, your price today should be £17.35. Don't forget takes into account any discounts that's already been done on this selection here. Your price today though, for 10 metres of twisted wire, your block and your hammer, 
My producer's not even telling me what we're going to. This is going to be a surprise for us all. Your price today? Just £9.95. pence. I played that for my for a steel block on its own. That's fab price, isn't it? All of this today, £9.95. And the great thing is, even if you've never owned a hammer and a block before, now's your opportunity to. But even if you've got the steel block at home, this rubber uh, bench block's going to make your steel block go further, if that makes sense. Do you see what I mean? Because you can do more with this, you can use this for the hammering, you can change your compositions, even your crossovers, you can really use this to its maximum advantage. It's absolutely fab. I love that. Helena, are you on the phone? Uh, have you got this in your basket? Huh. Helena. There's another Helena getting it. Producer Helena, meet Helena from County, County Tyrone. Tyrone, Ireland. Oh, hey, I'm booking going to Ireland October. I'm going. Uh, again, yeah. <laughs> 9.95 for all of this. Congratulations, everyone. Lots of you getting it. It's going to make your steel block work harder and it's going to do so many goodies for you, it really is. Where are we going, love? So we just need to, so, since I put an A in, it should be an I. I took the A out. Yeah. Um, and all I did was I placed my flat nose pliers in at the top of the um, V, brought it across, uh, kinked it down, then put them in again and brought it down so that we now have a flying Ooh. piece of wire. Um, so that we now have a letter A, uh, a letter I. Because in a moment we'll just make the the curl, so it sits nicely. So I take the round nose pliers in, place them there, and roll the wire up. Trying to smooth it out round, because in a minute we're going to create a letter A, and it'll just help you when you where to position your letter A. So it's just using the heat of your fingers, yeah? Yep. Good. So then we take um, either your pen or your round nose pliers if you're doing it a lot smaller, popping your pliers in, bringing it round, and all the way round as we go. And then obviously, like all A's, they have a tail at the bottom. Absolutely do. So making sure that the wire comes up to the top of the a, uh, top of the O mm -hmm. or A, which it will be. So it sits there. Mm -hmm. I'm getting your flat nose pliers and simply bending it so the wire goes to the back. Again, it needs to sit obviously flush with the t uh, level with the top of the A, there or thereabouts. And then using Rhino pliers, kink it out. Kinking it out again. And look at that. And there you have. Olivia. Olivia. Yay! That is so adorable. I love it. Thank you so much for showing us that lovely lady. Now we're nearly coming to the end of this, you know. I want you to summarise to us how to make this because I know people will have been waiting for how to do this at home. We did say we'd mm -hmm. give them a sneaky peek. This is a time saving tip and a half for you. This is a stunning ring. Talk to us about this lovely Michelle. I wanted to make my own version of a tri trilogy ring. Okay. So this is exactly what it is. Trilogy ring, past, present and future. And with the peridot, it was uh, no more of a better way than just to let it speak out volumes on its own. And it's most certainly done that, hasn't yes. it? Yes. And actually, the technique we're about to talk to you about now is the same we used on this, isn't it? Yes. The same technique that we've used on this cuff here. Okay, So fab. with the... You should really, when cutting memory wire, use memory wire cutters. Yep. But I don't have seem to have bought my memory card wire cutters with me today, and I'm not losing my flush cutters. No. Nope, so not um, cutters. I just got uh, my snips. So and we just you want four complete circles. Four total circles. Four okay. complete circles. So I should have one, two, three, and cut a fourth one there. Oh gosh, it's so stiff. And snip it. So we have four complete pieces. Okay. She should. No, there's only four three. full loops. Yep. Because no, those I've ends got are three touching. Full loops. Oh, no, not three. I can't count. 
<laughs> um, just to let you know, everyone, it's nearly a sellout the rubber block with the steel air hammer and with your double twisted wire. So, check out, lovely ladies and gentlemen, because you, if you want to secure it, the only way to do so is to check out your baskets. You wouldn't leave the supermarket with a full trolley, just leave it there, would you? Go home, watch Corrie, come back and hope it was still there, you wouldn't, would you? <laughs> don't do it now then, just don't. Check out those baskets, lovely ladies. 9 95 for all of these goodies. You're seeing it on screen now. Okay, so, so now you've got four loops. Four loops. Okay. Got a fifth one though. I can't count. Really. <laughs> you've got five Mind loops. You, I've, got a I've got a different pair of contact lenses in. Now, whether that's got anything to do with it, I don't know. But <laughs> I'm trying some other ones. And they're a bit. Right. We all pull that face when someone's about to snip memory yeah. wire. Okay, so I now definitely have four pieces. Four loops, good. Okay, let me just, i just got to sneak that there. Yeah, go ahead. Paradigm, we'll be ahead. Um, while she's looping down there, let's have another text in. Why not? Uh, this time they've been text tips that we want in from you today. 60 triple sevens and numbers that you text into a JM studio. We've had loads in so far from monofilament tips to crackle quartz tips. Designer Sammy got involved. This one says, hello everyone. Hello Janice, you're a lovely lady. Use your sticky bead mat to lay your graduated strand on before pulling the thread out. They stay in place. Jan, that makes so much sense now. Sticky bead Snip mat? Snip it, you stick What's a sticky bead mat? Oh, Michelle, 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 Michelle. I've not heard of a sticky bead mat. As soon as you see it, you are going to fall in love. It is a mat like this, yeah. and it has all the grids in, but then on the other side it has like a macrame grid on it, yeah. but it's sticky. And it's washable, and it still stays sticky. What? Oh, I've got to show you one of these soon. Got to show you one. They always come in and fly out. Jan, love that idea, quacking idea. Keep those messages coming in. Lovely lady, so what uh, what uh, gauge of wire are we so using now? in the kit we came with um, 025 mil wire, Absolutely. which was actually spot on because I managed to get it through my peridot twice. Okay, good. So with the smaller, because I think they're all graduated, Yeah. Um, with the smaller pieces, we I'm just going to take three off. Okay. And like everything, I always work from the centre out, so I just thread the peridot on and using about the centre of the wire with your memory wire splitting the two so you have splitting the four rings so you have two sets of two and this is really fiddly so you do have to persevere so as you split it what you need to do is bring the um, 1.25 mil wire yeah. in between did I do it in between on that one? Go on. Yeah. Yes, in between. So you could do it two ways. You could do the wrap individual wires, which what you do, holding the, the memory wire open, and then with your thumb and f with your finger, bringing that round, pushing the bead down to the memory wire because you okay. want it to sit nice and flat, and then just loop that in. And wrap it round twice, I think I did on that okay. one. Okay. That's once. And then just once again, twice. Yep. I see. Underneath. So I've split it and I've started at the in the centre. I'm going to split the memory wire now, the coils, and I'm going to wrap the end one. It just keeps these all together. Wrap right the end one like that. Going through and around. Yeah. I see. And this is exactly the same. Now on the ring that uh, you're wearing, I didn't wrap the whole of the shank, but no. you could wrap all of it. I just wrapped the base of it because it's memory wire. But you could wrap all of it. So once the once the peridot is secure in place like that. We then, the wires which are then split. So in this instance, as you can see, I went on the top of, I don't know if you can get very close, it's quite fine wire, but I went, uh, I popped the wire on and I went across the top of the memory wire first. 
I'm going to push the bead down. What I'm going to do with this piece of wire is I want it to come up and over. So okay. I'm going to come up underneath this, the other side of the memory wire. Remembering, as you tie the wire down, the peridot needs to be sitting in between the two pieces okay. of doubled coil. Here we are. So pulling it up pulling it over and we're pulling out the memory wire and the reason for catching it underneath rather than over at the top okay. is because you will then be able to hold that split there. Clever, I see. Yeah? Yeah, because it almost keeps it if you, Yeah, if you wrap it over the top, what can happen is the coils will just bring back together. Spring back. So if you wrap over the top of the one, wrap underneath the mm -hmm. next one. Love and it. then simply go underneath and just wrap in the same manner. Okay. All the way along. So we then pull that up. And then two loops. And then two loops. Okay. And that is all I did. And then you just continue like that, but add three stones yeah. on. And then if I show the back as well, so if I show you the front and then I'll spin it around to show you the back, you've just looped those on together, haven't you? Yeah, I have. It was really just to try and hide the ends of the memory wire. Yeah. Obviously, memory wire can be quite sharp when you cut it, and I don't want anyone cutting themselves or hurting themselves on it. So I try to wrap it in and conceal the... Not conceal it is the wrong word, but if I could try to cover the end as much as possible. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you so much for showing us all of this. You guys at home loved all of these pieces. They are stunning. We've had so much good feedback. Good. Now, I'm going to a really short break, but you don't want to go anywhere because I've still got brand new goodies coming up for you, including something you're going to go coconuts over. <laughs> uh, see you after this. Here at Jewellery Maker, we love seeing your jewellery creations, learning about your inspiration and reading your blogs. If you write your own craft or jewellery blog, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply tweet us at jewellery underscore maker UK with your blog link and we'll be in touch. way to shop with Jewellery Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the watch live button on the front page. You can also use our refine tool and narrow down your search. Once you've found an item that you like, just simply click on the buy now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day and still only pay one p and Enjoy shopping with Jewellery Maker. You can now keep in touch by following Jewellery Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewellery Maker. Have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. 
You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back everybody, lovely ladies and gentlemen to Designer Inspiration. I am over the moon that you've been able to join me today because not only have I had so much fun with loads of goodies, I've got the gorgeous Michelle with me as well. You always put a spring in my step, Michelle. Thank you, my darling. You're such a lovely person to be around. I do try to be. My husband wouldn't agree, but I do try to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he would. Um, and another reason I'm having a lovely day is because of this. You've waited so patiently. Brand spanking new coconut jasper. I am so excited about what I'm about to show you. I'm doing it now. Now is the time. Congratulations, people who are already putting this in their basket and who are already calling in for this. Congratulations, guys, already. You know that we're gonna do a fantastic deal. You know that. Now, I was talking earlier about cabs, wasn't I? And I said to you time and time again, and I like to go into these really well-known stores and things because, because I work here and because I see lots of strands and lots of gemstones day in, day out, time after time, loads and loads and loads. I get a bit disillusioned about prices. I'll be honest with you, I get disillusioned with prices in the fact that when I go into other shops, I think, how much? How much are they selling that for? Oh my goodness! because I just get so used to our amazing prices here at Jewelry Maker. But I do go in, I do refresh my memory, and I have seen ab, um, agate cabs for around the 17 99 mark. I've seen some around the 14 99 mark as well per cab. Even, even if I went in and saw clearance section, because sometimes in these places they do clearance sections don't they especially if they say a certain color it's a bit unusual um they will have a, a big variety and they'll have clearance deals won't they i've seen clearance cabs clearance price three pounds fifty that's actually a bit of a bargain isn't it that really is a bit of a bargain um i need to let you know these are going quick so just trust me on this get yourself on the telephone now if we say £3.50 each, now I'm going to do, obviously you're getting 740 carats worth of coconut jasper, astonishing gemstone. Really interested if you want to read up about it as well. I'm going to count around how many we're going to be getting. Don't forget they're all different shapes and sizes. I've got in my tray here 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 9, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23. If I worked these out at that high street store, £3.50 clearance, how much would that be? How much would that be? For that many? £3.50 for all of that. How much would that be, Helena? Get your calculator out, love. Do it the other way around. So, if these are £3.50 per one, I've just counted them, that would mean that for this tray here, you could be paying £80.50. pence. i am about to make this irresistible. All of these, yours today, go. £19.95 pence. It's brand spanking new. But tell you what, I'm in my last chance saloon. I really am. Get going quick. All different colours, all different sizes. Let me show you some. Let me just get out some of my face. I love every single one a different picture. Really autumnal, unisex. And I rarely say that for a cab. Rarely say it. But definitely unisex, aren't they? Every single one different. Oh my goodness. Low figures. Single figures, single figures. Go, 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 go. This is a super quick one. You've all been waiting. Thank you so much. This is going to sell out in seconds. 
It's a goner, it's a goner, it's a goner. Congratulations everyone who got that. Loads of you got it. Well done, uh, well done to everyone. Do not worry though, if you missed out, don't worry, because I've still got more goodies coming up for you. Another one of Michelle's strands I'm giving to you now, um, and this is the fire opal. I'm about to hand this over to you so you can get making with it, love. Why did you pick this strand? Because I love opal. <laughs> I love opal. I love opal, I love opal. Why? I think because of its fire and its uniqueness and it has a different play of colour to Labradorite or Moonstone, it just has a different, just an, a different internal glow. Mm, different vibrancy mm. doesn't it, it really does. And uh, it, lifts, it lifts something up, so something that could be quite dowdy and quite plain, it will lift it. I adore that description, you're completely right. Look at the fiery tones in here, it really is warming, isn't it? 30 carats worth I've got here for you of these rondelles. Your price today for a challenge strand, 24,095 pence for a gemstone that I always think, I know it's not in the big four, but I always think if it should be, if there was a big seven, it would be in there, I always yeah. think. Because it's something that people know when you're born. You know diamond, sapphire and opal, don't you? You do. 17 pounds and 95 pence lowest ever price we have just done for you here get your hands on this that is the lowest ever price you've seen one time price tag yours today 30 carats and you get some of Michelle's wonderful ideas as well in the challenge. Oh, I only got about 30 minutes left, lovely Michelle, about 30, 35 minutes. So I'll give this over to you now. 17.95, never ever seen before. Lowest price on this strand, 17.95, congratulations. I'm gonna hand this over to you, lovely lady, so you can get started. Oh, that lavender is looking good. Oh, shining away. Which cab? More cabs. Say that to me again. Pear shape. Last time I had this gemstone on was the first time I'd ever had this gemstone on. And it sold out within seven and a half or eight minutes. I've not got that many of these. Totally different shape. Take a look at your shore right. Sold them all out last time I had them. Got some back in. But I've only got 40. Four. Oh, what? One four? I've only got 14 of these. This is, to me, the epitome of glamour. This, to me, is a connoisseur's choice. Time and time again. I'm sure a lot of you will know quite a few pieces of information about this gemstone. I suppose one of the biggest pieces of information to know about this is the fact it's one locational. This is a gemstone from one area in the world, from Siberia. Another important thing to know about this gemstone is very rarely, and including this time, is it treated. This has no treatment on it whatsoever. And one of the reasons I believe that is because Look at how beautiful it is. Why would you need to apply a treatment to this? A thing with Charolite is the fact that you've got this beautiful body of colour. You've got these swirls. It's sometimes referred to as purple turquoise, which I always think is really interesting because it almost has this matrix internally, doesn't it? It does look like liquid underneath, which is even more phenomenal when you note that it's got an element of chatoyancy to it. In areas of this, you get these beautiful chatoyant bursts, this fluidity, this waterfall of light and colour just bedazzling across this, underneath the surface of this gemstone. There's areas of clarity as well to here, which is hard for you to see, but in this area here there's transparency through there then it goes to a really rich deep opaque let me show you the back of this as well if i may because look at how beautiful it is the back of this is matte and you could really easily highlight the front or back you remember spellbinding laura binding had the uh, beautiful cab show on and she showed us how to make uh, pieces with the front of the cab and the back of the cab remember you could do that really easily with this 
50 carats worth I've got here. I've already got a huge amount of these gone, actually. In fact, is that half my stock gone now? It is, isn't it? I better bring your price in. If you're a connoisseur, you're gonna understand how astonishing this price point is. 19 pounds and 95 pence for 50 carats worth of a one locational gemstone in which the location in Siberia is even smaller than that which is of the area in Tanzania for Tanzanite. That's the rarity of this gemstone. Isn't that astonishing? It's named after the Sharo River in Siberia, which I always adore because you have almost got these ripples, water-like ripples running through, haven't you? I didn't mean to roll my R then. That was accidental. R rolled. Ripple. Ripple. Um, four left, that's it, and I've got five in basket, so it's technically a sellout. This is going to be between the three anonymouses, Zoe and Mandy, for fastest finger first. Oh, Mandy. Where is that? Les, les, yeux. I'm guessing France. Les, yeux. Les cruces. Oh, sounds gorgeous. Uh, Mandy or Zoe. Mandy's just checked out in gorgeous France, I'm guessing. Uh, <laughs> three left now then. Race to the finish line. Everyone treat yourself to this today because you don't see this gemstone often at all. It's officially a sellout. Thank you very much for getting your hands on that. Well, some of you didn't see this coming. Did you miss out on that? Oh, seven of you had it in your baskets and missed out. Don't worry, there's no need to cry. I've got another. But it's obviously a different shape. It's a different shape, similar size. This is what I've just brought to you. This one I'm bringing to you now. I'm going to be honest, those seven who missed out on the last one, please, please check out your baskets now because I'm going to give you the same price point. It's the same, it's the same price point, but I've only got 10. 19 pounds and 95 pence. So those seven who missed out on the pair, get on the phone, get back in with it in your baskets now um, and check this out, 50 carats worth because I've only got 10, which means you guys at home have still got an opportunity. There's still three or four left available at this moment in time. It is the same gemstone. Now, I know it looks totally different, doesn't it? It really does. The color's even different, but that is mother nature. It really is. Yours might be really dark like this one. Yours might be really quite light like this one. Yours might have really high, um, sort of shine areas but yours might also have areas of dips of, of the chatoyancy it might it, every single one's different because this is natural don't forget for me okay we haven't got an oval shaped ice cube tray and thrown in it loads of plastic and then we haven't thrown in it loads of color have we because we could have done that that means everyone looks the same but mother nature doesn't work that way does she do you remember, did anyone else used to back your books at school? Do you remember backing your books? We had to back our books. Did you, we used to do for our school report, um, inking. So what you did was, okay, so for your school report, you had to back your book, your report book. So you got a tray and the teacher, you had water in it and your teacher would let you put little blocks of ink in. And then you got the paper and you put it in, didn't you? And then you took it out and it had all this ripple. Do, do you know what I'm talking about? The same if you had um, like um, a soapy liquid. Yeah. This is what I did at school. You had a soapy liquid with a colour and a straw, blow into it, then put the paper on the top. You're right. That's exactly it. That's how we did it as well. That's what these remind me of. <laughs> That's literally where the story was going. But it just made me reminisce then for a moment. We're talking about your little one's first day tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Oh, my bless. niece and my, my little boy. Oh, bless. Hey, they'll be back in their books in no time. Oh, hardly any of these left. Congratulations, everyone. OK, let's move on. On the left. Let's take it down a peg or two now, shall we? One of the big four, a spectacular example. This is around 500 million years in the making. This is a perfect storm of 
age, pressure, heat, around 700 to 900 degrees it needs to be to be able to create this. The perfect concoction or medicine of beryllium and chromium and all these other elements that need to be required at the exact right consistency and the exact correct amount to be able to create this gemstone. 500 million years of these constant changing situations of pressure and heat and elements all attaching to this gem. And now here you have it in front of your eyes and I'm about to price slash it. I'm about to go somewhere that this strand's never been before in price. Should be. £19.95. Did you know? Th th this is from Brazil, but I want to talk about the gemstone as a whole. Did you know that um, in Zambia, so Zambia Emerald, which as we know is a very sought after location, in Zambia they have to sift through 12 million grams of rough to find one gram of emerald. That means that in Zambia, you have got a 12 million in one chance of finding emerald. That's how rare this gemstone is. That gives you an idea, doesn't it? Now obviously this is Brazil, but I think it's really interesting, the amount of work. That goes to show if this gemstone wasn't as sought after, wasn't as beautiful, wasn't as much loved as it is, they just wouldn't bother sifting through 12 million grams worth of rough for, to get a gram of emerald, would they? And it goes to show, although I know the location's different, but it does go to show how much this gemstone is loved and looked after and sought after, doesn't it? 19 pounds and 95 pence is your should be price. Never been this low before. If you want a big four at a stunning price, now's your chance, 12 pounds and 95 pence for you on this today. This is a magnificent piece that you have here. It truly, truly is just an absolute wonder for you. 12 pounds and 95 pence, you've never seen that price tag on this before. This is a gem which has been renowned for millennia. This is a gem that has been present and prevalent in royal pieces of jewelry all over the world, all over the years. This is a piece of gem gemstone history 500 million years in the making and brought to you today at 12 pounds and 95 pence you can own a piece of history for that price oh michelle we haven't played a game today three words emerald and go my favorite stone i love that i love that succinct but very positive tell me why just because of its colour. And it's emerald. It's one of the big four. It's, it's like emerald, sapphires, rubies, diamonds. They are. They have to was well, any girl's best friend. I'm sorry. Isn't it just? And um, I actually turned 37 years ago and happened to be in New York when I turned 30. And I bought myself an emerald and diamond ring for my 30th. Did you? I did. Oh, that's so lovely. What a really beautiful gift. Present Diamonds yourself. and emeralds. Oh, could you imagine? That's a beautiful concoction together, wouldn't mm. it be? Can that's you remember how much it was? Um, is it up there in price? Yeah, well, we were quite lucky when we went, which is when I got married in 2007, we got married at uh, 16th of December, so Christmas time. We were really quite fortunate. Um, it was $2 to a pound. Oh, yeah. So at that point, oh, it was seven hundred and fifty dollars. Wow. So it worked out about three hundred and twenty-five pounds. That's good, that. But when I come, because I didn't just buy that, I bought some blue and white diamond pieces as well. Um, I then shipped them off to be um, valued. Yeah. I had my blue and white diamond necklace and pendant valued at over two and a half thousand pounds each, and I wow. paid seven hundred and fifty pounds for them wow. at the time. 
and my um, emerald and diamond ring I had valued at fifteen hundred pounds, and I paid oh, three hundred and twenty-five. So I, you know, that is the we power just of went. gemstones, isn't it? Get them valued. Mm. I always say that as well here. If you get some stunning pieces, get them valued once you've made something. Definitely, I would set that with sterling silver or yeah. possibly our sterling silver, which is coated in the yellow gold. Yes. Um, it looked nice with rose gold as well. You're right, actually. Really bring it to life, mm. wasn't it? Twelve ninety-five. Never seen before. Price got triple buyers on this. You know the worth of this gem, and you know that's a cracking deal. I've got to move on. I've got a few more things to squeeze in for you. What did you say, lovely? Finally, I have been waiting for this moment all day. I feel so privileged to have this. I genuinely do. Just get ready for a sparkle unlike anything else. This gemstone has sparkle unlike any other. This gemstone, faceted, is renowned for its beauty. I adore everything about this gem, including the price. You're gonna be able to own this today for under a hundred pounds. You've got the chance to own a slice of history with this today. If you're looking for sparkle and twinkle and delight and a glow in the eyes, now is your opportunity. But I need to let you know, I've only got seven. Today, you're getting your hands on this beautiful gemstone. It is, of course, the most wonderful Zircon. Get yourself on the phone lines now because it is under a hundred. All right, it's under 50. I'll be honest with you, it's going under 40 pounds today for this. This gemstone is a piece of history. This gemstone is history in its finest form. Can I have that slide back up of the timeline? Because I just want to point this out. All this is why we always say it, it's to do with history, okay? So this is the timeline of, of the scale of time. This is where humans came in, okay? And this right over here is the formation of the Earth. So this is kind of the timing that we're expecting. Now, have a look for me here. Um, you know I said about the emerald earlier on? That was, hang on, da, 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 da. where are we looking? These, these, by the way, are billion years, these formats. So we're looking at, <laughs> around here, we're looking at the emerald form. Around here, we're looking at the oldest diamond. Here is the oldest zircon. That's amazing, isn't it? Your price today for this zircon is just £17.95, but guess what? <laughs> I've not got many left at all. I really have not. Um, it's stunning, it's beautiful. I am so jealous if you've got this. Congratulations to you all. Piece of history you're owning. Love it. Love that gemstone. Ooh, did you buy that strand of opal on yesterday morning show? Did you? You know the rounds, the Ethiopian opal that were the rounds? You'll remember it when I tell you the price. £77.95 it was, reduced by £40, so you got it for £37.95. Stunning reduction. This reminds me of that strand a lot. Oh my goodness, how rare is it to see pinhead opal? Isn't that rare? Look, look. That is rare that I am able to pick up any pinhead formation within an opal, but this goes to show the quality. Of course, as always with opal, get it home to really appreciate it. Greens, blues, and what color can you see in those pinheads? Can anyone see pinks and reds? That is the rarest 
colour of opalescence in the world. Now I want everyone to have the opportunity to own opal because I need you all to feel my love. I want that. Do you know when you make something for someone and you really want them to appreciate and adore it and you might pass on say a gemstone and you could fill them in on a little story in a little tale and you pass on your own knowledge and your own kind of uh, little story behind the pieces. I adore doing that myself and that's how I feel about opal. I feel like I want everyone to own it. I want everyone to get it home and say, actually, when Becky says, I'm so sorry you can't see any Opal, uh, Opal Essence, but get it home and you are actually going to see it. I want you then to understand exactly what I'm talking about because it's so frustrating, it really is. Guest designer Sammy, because I know she's been in touch quite a day, guest, guest designer Sammy said to me, not so long ago, that she never bought Opal before, ever. And then I came on the show and she could see how passionate I was and she could see I was trying to get across how much opal essence there is in these strands. And she says that now she'll buy opal pretty much every single time she sees it because she was just absolutely blown away. And it's one of her favorite gemstones now. And that's what I want. That's what I want. I want everyone to feel like that. And how am I gonna make you feel like that? By giving you an irresistible price. The strand you saw yesterday, Ethiopian opal, plain graduated rounds, 77.95, reduced to 37. Your price today, <laughs> that price makes me smile. But I want to be beaming. I want my cheeks to hurt and smiling so much. I want you all to own it at home. So we're dropping the price. We don't have to and we shouldn't. Your price today is not £17.95. It's £12.95. Ethiopian Opal, one of the biggest locations for this gemstone. When you get Ethiopian Opal with this amount of opalescence to the body, but also that pinhead fire, at any price, I would fall head over heels, to be honest. It's one of those gemstones that honestly, sometimes, it doesn't matter what the price is. I just fall in love with it time and time again. And for this quality, I am absolutely dumbfounded. Simple as that. So we're all you lot. Hello, lovelies. Let's say hello to some people. Yvette, how are you? Yvette's in the West Midlands. She likes Opal. I can tell because she's not just bought one, have you? Um, I've got Anne in Merseyside. Hello, lovely Anne. How are you? Jenny in Bristol's getting herself some as well. Oh, I love Bristol. I've been on a boat in Bristol. I don't... Okay, why have you pulled that face about a boat? Don't do boats. You don't do boats? Don't do boats. Why not? No, they sink. They sink? Yeah. No, don't do boats. Good. Good. But you have a motorbike. Yeah, no. I don't like deep waters. Do you not? No. Are you a strong swimmer? I'm good at swimming. Are you? I just don't like the whole, th uh, whole thought of falling into the water just fills me with fear. I went to um, Lanzarote. Yeah. Gosh, a good few years ago now. And uh, we went on a jet ski. I was with my partner and his son at the time. Yeah. And um, we're on a jet ski. We all get on a boat. And I've never been wrong, so we all get on a jet ski. And my her, my partner and, and his son are, are whizzing around. Yeah. And, of course, they're creating the waves mm -hmm. and making it even worse. To the point, I was in floods of tears. Oh, I couldn't great. move off this thing because it kept rocking. And every time I went to rent it to move, it would go to dive into the water. So I... Um, was in floods of tears. They come and got me and said, do you want to do paragliding instead? I said, no. I said, I want to go back to dry land, please. Oh, bless you, little poppet. I do know what you mean, though. I can't stand deep water. I'm not a very good swimmer, to be honest, at all, um, which is makes it even more crazy that I worked on a cruise ship yeah. and therefore had to, I was on the second deck, so you're technically underneath the water level. So when you're trying to go to sleep, you just get this all the time. But also it makes it more crazy that I'm not good at swimming. I'm afraid of heights. I hate deep water. But as part of your training, you have to jump from the seventh deck. Seventh deck. That's seven stories up, essentially. You have to step out, fall off, go into the sea, flip a lifeboat. Get, oh, it was horrible. It was the worst. It, it was not fun at all. And the worst thing was, you did that, like, that took days to do. There was lots of different kind of survival techniques. 
But then we did that lifeboat slipping in the morning, and then I had to go and do my firefighter training. And you have to get soap in wet, horrible, get yourself in all this gear from the bottom, from the bottom stairs all the way up into this smoke room. Oh, it just was not. Yeah, I had to do that. Yeah, there's a trained firefighter on board. Oh, I know. And now I'm here. And now I'm here. <laughs> 12 pounds 95. Boy, oh boy, do you love this. Your names have gone off my screen. Lots of you with it in your baskets. Low, low price. Hello, lovely. How are you? I'm alright. Are you on the Lake Show, Han? I am, yeah. Yay! I've not seen you in ages. I'm yeah. so excited. Oh yeah, but I like to draw attention to things. You know what I'm like. Um, Lake Show tonight. I know. Yeah. I'll let everyone know at home in a bit. Uh, save everyone switching off now. Uh, <laughs> right, we'll see you in a little bit, Anne. Twelve pounds and ninety-five pence. Never seen before price on your East the Opian Opal Strand of TQ GZ eighty one. Gosh, she's gorgeous, isn't she? And she's beautiful. She always looks so glamorous. I'm not annoyed. I am. Um, Twelve pounds ninety-five. That's your price point. Right, let me put this somewhere safe. Where are we going, lovely? Right, okay. I, I cannot do it at all. I cannot keep my eyes away from this gemstone. Glenn, you've worked on our sister channel quite a bit, haven't you? Have you seen Anderson on there before? Not for ages. Not for at least two years. Do you know why? Because the rarity of this is going crazy. Gems TV used to do Mongolian Andesine for quite a long time, which funnily enough is where this strand is from. Um, they used to do it in their really, really high-end pieces. Didn't they, Glenn? Couldn't you remember any? Always in gold, he said. Always in gold. Um, Glenn's my director at the moment in time and he works quite a bit on gems, uh, our sister channel. And he's saying that Mongolian Anderson he hasn't seen for about two years and when he did see it, it was always with gold. What kind of carat weight of gold are we talking? Can't think. Probably about nine. Probably about nine carats he's saying. Nine carats of complete and absolute pure gold with this. Now, think about it this way, okay. Very few gemstones will have the luxury and the pleasure of being set into genuine gold purely. But on our sister channel, this gemstone has that privilege. Why? Because of its rarity. Because it is so sought after. Anderson has this epic, burst of colour running through it that is totally unique. Let's just look at a small section if we may. Can you see on these gemstones you've got on each one areas of deep rich burgundy spanning through to fern green. Do you know what it reminds me of? And it's quite hard to get across on the screen because obviously these are highly faceted. Do you know what it reminds me of? Obviously it's not, but this is what I want the picture of you in your mind to be. Um, ametrine. But as opposed to the purple amethyst and, and the, the green, of the, uh, the yellow of the citrine, you've got a deep burgundy, almost ruby red, and then a really gorgeous, almost um, Amazonite greeny blue hue running through. And the scene is spectacular. It is an absolute connoisseur's choice. Ben, you used to work on the other channel as well. I did, yeah. Have you seen Anderson, Mongolian Anderson on Gems TV? Yeah, we used to have um, collections. We used to have collections. I used to work here and then go into Gems after. Yeah. And it was, um, we had quite a few of them. They were really big deals. Really big deals? Yeah, not like, well, the deals were good, but it was a really big deal. But they were on. And why, why, why was that? Was this the type of gemstone that people adored and people loved and knew? I think, um, 
I think to be honest, Steve was just really excited by it. Yeah. Because he was he usually presented it. Yeah, that is so true. I've seen this on our sister channel only once before. Um, Ben's just saying that whenever he's seen it on the other channels, it's always been the people love it so much because Steve Bennett loves it so so much. And he said that Ben's just said whenever he's only see whenever he's seen it, it's always been Steve presenting. And you're right, he does. Steve Bennett. CEO of the company, founder of the company. You may well have seen quite a bit of him on the ITV documentary on channel uh, on ITV at nine o'clock on Tuesday. It was on, wasn't it? He has and constantly wears an Anderson ring. That's how much he loves it. And actually, whenever I have seen this uh, presented on my sister channel, Gems TV, it has always been Steve presenting it. Always. And that's interesting because now. I obviously am a presenter here and it's the producer who sorts out what we have on the show, what bundles we have, they put together the bundles, what prices they're going to be, if we're going to do a price drop, that's all up to my producer, it's nothing to do with me. But my lovely producer Helena will now and again say to me, will now and again ask me, um, you know, what gemstone do you really fancy at the moment? Do you want to have a little look? Do you want to pick out one of your favourites? And I go, I need that one, I need that one, I need that. Um, but it happens quite rarely. Steve, whenever he asks, always will try and get this gem if he can. Mongolian Anderson. Mongolia is the number one location for this little beauty. Guess what though? I've only got 30 available of this totally natural gemstone. I'm going to ask you to do me a favour. I always think this is quite nice to do sometimes. Go out and learn about this gemstone. I don't want to stand here and tell you absolutely everything. I don't want to do that because sometimes it's nice to discover something new for yourself, isn't it? How about you buy it today and then you do a little bit of research into it. Think of it as like a little bit of a hobby because we make our own jewellery and that's nice, that's great. But one of the great things about making your own jewellery is when you pass it on, when you give it, when you sell it, selling a story with it. It was described actually on the um, ITV documentary as romancing the stone, wasn't it? From the shed in Birmingham. <laughs> Um, but it's true, it's lovely to learn about something and honestly this gemstone has so much history, so much myth and it's just such an interesting, in fact you can buy books just on this gemstone and that's usually the only thing that's related to the big ones, the opal, the diamond, but you can buy uh, full books just of this. In fact I might have a little look for you later, I'll put it on my Facebook page, I'll have a little look, probably not tonight. Uh, on my days off tomorrow or the day after I'll put up some of the book titles because I've got one actually about this um, so I've got 30 opportunities it's a one off stunning number one location Mongolian and a scene your price is just <laughs> Steve would be flipping his lid right now I'll be honest he'd be absolutely shocked at that price point. And Michelle, actually, you look shocked too, love. Yeah. It's n I've very rarely seen it on this channel. I think I might have seen it once before. No, yeah. Um, but I've never seen it since. But again, that sort of um, stone would require probably sterling silver. Yeah. First, have you seen it in the flesh? No. Oh, my goodness. Come here, chicken. I can't believe you haven't. No. Take a really good look at it. I want you to have, find those sort of areas that have got the... Oh, your face then. Oh, oh you like that, lovely you? banded one there. Oh, wow. Do you see what I mean? Oh. Mm. You've got like a sunstone one. Hang on. You've got like a sunstone one type one there. You have a bit, actually, haven't you? Oh, and then have you seen ones with the green and the red? Yeah, there. That's just beautiful. That's... Oh. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love it? It is. Do beautiful. What do you think of that price point for it then, chick? Wow. twenty one ninety five. Not enough money. Not enough money. Really? You think no, it should be more? It should be more than that. Definitely. I tell you what, Steve probably does as well. Oh, hello. Le well, I was already in my last chance saloon. I've got how many left? 
Once you lot check, I've got half my stock gone completely. Um, I'm gonna have 10 left once you lot check out. So please do be quick. This is a gemstone that Steve Bennett absolutely loves. And I want you to as well. 21 pounds and 95 pence for you on this today. It is a stunning gemstone. You're gonna love it. Well, now I've got something special for you. And I've gotta say, it's a gem in which I already love and adore. And one of the reasons is because of the versatility of this gem. And the variation, that's the word I meant, not versatility. Although it is versatile. I'm just going to show you the opals that I've had on today. Hey, I've been lucky, haven't I? Three opals I've had on today. Let me show you how different opal is. Ethiopian opal. You've got the fire opal I've just shown you. Your nuggets as well. And now... Have you got that fire opal? Have you got some? Yeah. Can I can I lend that bit of strand? I'll give it you back. I just want to show people at home the variation and the amount that we have. Here's some of your uh, fire opal. All of them totally different. And now look at this. This is an opal too. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? The variety. This is one of the reasons I love opal so much. It just gives you so so much. I'm bringing to you now pink opal. Now this is rarer than many opals, many, many opals. And the fact of the matter is you're getting it in quite a rare shape as well actually, aren't you? With these graduated plain squares that we have here. Three by seven mil that we've got on these. Totally and absolutely natural. I've already got people coming in for this already. Only been seen once before, and I've got the second offering. Gosh, I'm lucky today. I've had quite a bit of opal. I love a good opal day. Um, pink opal is something we do not often see, and this shape is unusual too, because you can use these, if you wish, in a button style. You don't have to just stack them on top of each other as they were then. You can use them in button style. And actually, opal's pretty strong, so if you wish to inlay this into something, almost doing a tiled mosaic-like effect, you absolutely could, couldn't you? Give you a really nice texture to these. 65 carats worth of this pink opal today. They're your graduated squares. DBRU72. You're going to have to be quick, actually. Your price today... Oh my gosh, I didn't realise it was that price. I did not realise it was that price at all. Oh, my face actually offends me sometimes when I pull those stupid faces, but I didn't know it was that price. See that? <laughs> my director just went, I think you're insulting your brother Pete there as well, actually, but you've just said that. Um, £7.95, pence. brother Pete, brother Pete, brother Pete. What are you doing? What are you doing the rest of the night, Pete? Well, <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? Wow? What are you saying wow about, Pete? I'm there. Why aren't you answering my question? Right, yeah, I'm managing floor, yeah. You're managing floor for the rest of the night? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Pete, I might stick around then, spend a bit of time with you if that's all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe we could give mum and dad a call, see how they're getting on. You coming oh, to Sunday yeah. dinner, Pete? You coming to Sunday Family dinner? Family reunion. Family reunion! <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's Pete, my brother from another mother. <laughs> um, 6.95, oh, look how quick that's going down though. Multi-buyers on this, congratulations everyone. Loads on the phone, why? Because it's opal, it's pink opal, it's in these crazy, usable, unusual shapes, and it's £6.95. pence. Not got many left. Loads on the phone. Slight queue. We will be with you. 25 opportunities left. Five in baskets. Do check out your baskets for me. Keep checking out those baskets. Stay on the phone. It's going to be a sellout. We just don't know how soon. Last look at this now. Graduated strand from 3 mil to 7 mil. 22 left. 6.95. I am going to move on, but only because I want to squeeze in nothing before we see the challenge. Ooh. Only seen once before. Spin up. Lapis lazuli. Mm. Gosh, this is a long. Meters worth, isn't it? Wow. 
925 sterling silver lapis chain only ever seen once before meters worth we've got here of this beautiful gem, gem chain 30 carats worth of your lapis lazuli and it's three by two mil you've got with lapis this gorgeous rich denim blue that has then got this twinkle underneath of the gorgeous golds and this really interesting rutilation in that manner lapis lazuli was used by Michelangelo. Why? Because back in those days, it was unable, you were unable to get this colour for a painting material, for a painting substance. The only reason you were able to make it was by getting this specific gemstone, crushing it up, making an amalgamation and making a, a paint with it. Now that's why in his huge, epic, very expensive, you know, ceiling paintings, there would be a lot of blue in this because it was the most expensive colour to work with by miles because it's genuine gemstones crushed up into a paint and because of this whenever um, aristocracy or royalty would have paintings around that era created of themselves a lot of the time say in battle scenes there's a lot of blue sky isn't there when you have a look at religious scenes that were painted around that time as well there was a lot of blue sky isn't there there's lots of blue draped clothing and, and that's because the royalty and, and these um, regal families who were getting these portraits commissions would ask for a lot of blue. It was a sign of showing off how much money they had, how regal they were. Because if you think of, you know, even religious uh, paintings around that time with uh, different colours of fabrics, if you think of blue, you could probably think of certain people in that time who were depicted in blue a lot of the time you've um, got all of this really rich expensive ethereal colors running through that and it truly was a sign of wealth it really really was one meters worth of your 925 we have here with a gemstone which used to be there to show off really <laughs> all of this is just 17 pounds and 95 pence. I know it's a metre, but it's not really, is it? Because these are double wrap loops on each side. So that means for every one, you're getting at least an extra centimetre, at least, I would imagine, an extra centimetre on each side. So realistically, it's kind of like you're getting two metres worth of 925, isn't it? Fabulous, fabulous deal. 17.95, we have got people multi-buying on this as well. Isn't that stunning? Why did I get called a minx? <laughs> Minxy prices I'm giving today. Minxy prices. Now, I'm heading over to you, lovely lady. I'm heading over. Stay on the phone for us, won't you? Come on over. Challenge strands are coming on now. You've got two challenge strands. Yeah, I've got to go back. Sorry, hang on. Come with me. Come on, let's go. Come back. Oh, I've just got to. No, I'm joking. I'm having you on, pulling your leg. Gosh, you've got loads left over, haven't you? <gasps> Just simple. Oh, uh, bags of both. These are gorgeous. <laughs> Have a look. Just simple. You designs. had, uh, just see how many you've got left over first off. Loads and loads. This here is the Labradorite. And then you've got the Fire Opal. Loads left over there. Labradorite's at the bottom. It was 9.95. And then you've got your fire opal as well. I love how you've graduated the colour on that. Simple but elegant. Yes. Very much. And look, we've got loads left over. We have. Absolutely loads. Mm -hmm. So, the Labradorite, which were in these gorgeous drops, real serious Labradorescents on these are at the bottom, 995. And then this gorgeous graduated colour strand of your opal, fire opal, is on your screen at the side there, 1795. Um, and that was a dropped price, don't forget. Massively dropped, never seen before. Good fun to work with. 
Yes, it was beautiful to work with, and I would have done more had I not have taken the Labradorite one apart from earlier. I love it. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Now, speaking of fun to work with, yes. have you had a good day? I have had a lovely day. I always have a nice day when you're on. Oh, so do I. I can't say I've ever had you. a bad day with anyone, yeah? Oh, good. Well, that's handy, isn't it? Yeah. That is handy. Nice. Not that you'd say, if you had. I would. Oh, God. I love that. I would. <laughs> I would. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, lovely, Michelle. When are you next with us? I'm on Thursday morning show. Oh, what yeah. you got for us? Give us a sneak peek. You know, I like behind the scenes snoops. Um, I was, I don't work with chips and nuggets, so I had a kit with chips in it, and um, I've used the French knitting doll. French knitting doll? Yeah. Oh, I like the sound of that. Oh. Yeah. I'll, have a, I'll be having a little look on the Thursday yes. then. And in fact, I'll be working on Thursday, so I'll see you then. Yes, yeah. Now, well, lovely ladies and gentlemen, I am back with you after the break. I know, you're all expecting Ed. Please don't turn off. And in fact, to make sure you don't turn off, I'm not going to tell you why I'm sticking around until after this break. <laughs> Me and Michelle will see you very soon. Me, really soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> When shopping with Jewellery Maker, you can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options. Standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days. Or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. The four most common details considered in the industry when securing a quality gemstone are described as the four C's. The first C we look for is colour. The colour of a gemstone refers to the hue, tone and more importantly, 